Hello, hello, everybody. I have a few Pokemon out that we're going to try and level up, as well as some mainstays to our team. And also, a little thing that I did, just to save some time, is I already went ahead and translated all the uh, unknown runes into English. Even though they're already technically English, they're just really wonky English. Uh, purely because even if I already kind of know what they say, some of them just don't register in my mind. And I keep confusing P and R. So, <laughs> you have no idea how many times I went, what is a pooin? Because it's like P-U-I-N-E-D, pewind. And it's just like, what is a pewind uh, pillar? And it's just like, oh... It's a ruined pillar. <laughs> so I, just to make it easy for ease of just look and be like, ah, that's what it is. Although I, apparently I didn't fix one, but let's see, it's number three. Er, it should be number three. Look to the, oh no, it's number two, my bad. And that one is... Volcay oh, Volcano Island. I completely got that wrong. Because I finally remembered, oh, the V kind of looks like a G. Because I'm stupid. I'll go ahead and fix that. Volcano Island. Not Gull Anime. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so Sometimes I'm really stupid when it comes to the unknown. But yeah, one of them... I think, said something about the drying rat. Like, a few of the things can actually be done here in the village. A few of the unknown, I think. I just need to find, like, a, a clothesline. Because, yeah, there's... Or at least, oh, hey, I didn't. You'd think people would... Oh, yeah, I forgot. They can't be seen. Oh, and I would like to... You'd think running through it would affect, be the same effect. Still need to be on the lookout for those. Five in this diddly dang area. All right. But we need to be on the lookout for a clothes line. Oh, yeah, and another... I did a bit of off-stream just... Oh, I'm going to do a bit of Pokedex stuff. Level up some Pokemon a bit. I didn't do that much because... Oh, yeah, and another thing was like, oh, and I'll go and explore towards those place to get the... What is it? So I could grab some of the satchels that were missing so I could get their uh, merit points. And uh, guess what I ran into? I'm going to have to give it up because he's mean, but... Four point two. I have to give up this absolute unit that I just ran across in my search for more Eevees. But hey, we can finally write this off. I don't want to, but hey. Well, I'll be. I didn't think they could get this much bigger. Look at them side by side. They almost look like a parent and its child. I wonder if there's room for me in this little family. Look how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is, don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on the one's size. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the flavor. For the favor. I almost said flavor. Why? I know you survey core folk. Work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> That is adorable. Absolute unit. Alright, I'm gonna quickly read through and look-see, because there's a few that should be able to be done in the village of the un- Like, the unknown stuff can be done a bit in the village. A village gateway. But the thing is, maybe it could be talking about the Pearl and Diamond clans. When it comes to... Villages, but... Apparently, around a village gateway, there should be an unknown. And then there's another... somewhere. Go ahead and grab 
grab you. And let's see. I just wondered there was something about a clothesline. Maybe I should have organized these better. Let's see. Or maybe I'm dumb. I could have sworn that was said something about a clothesline. Or it could have been one of those things where I thought it was like, oh, Goal Anime Island! And it was actually something else. Oh, where things hang to dry at the living quarters. That's what it said. It's not actually clothesline. Even though for some reason my brain is just like, ah. Oh, yeah! Hmm. I forgot to look that up. I actually forgot to look something up. Since I have two Ralts, uh, and I know that, uh, I'm trying to make sure, because this is a village gateway, and I don't, don't want to miss any unknown potential here. But since I have two Ralts, funnily enough, one is actually already able to evolve. So let's go ahead and evolve you to a Curlia. Why not? Even if we haven't spent that much time with you. I kind of find it kind of funny that you can automatically evolve. Absolutely fantastic. And now... Oh yeah, and I got a grit gravel. And uh, basically it allows you to push further beyond the uh, three... So basically, you want all the grit gravel you can get your freaking hands on. No if, ands, or buts. You want to get a ton of grit gravel so that you can first be able to... Well, yeah. First be able to get everything up to level 3 in your stats. And then you want the grit pebble to be able to... looking for the unknown. But uh, then you want the grit, uh, grit pebble and then grit that and grit that. Ever on and on. Hello unknown. You should be here. I wonder how the unknown things function. That's a problem. I don't know how uh, the unknowns will actually act. It's like, technically these are clotheslines, but uh, maybe it's not near the living quarters. It needs to be a clothesline near the living quarters, I guess, because that was what it said. Where things hang to dry at the living quarters. And that wasn't a living quarters building. That was the uh, hairstylist. And I'll be one second because my cat wants out of the room. My cat wants freedom. My cat is a bit silly. Sometimes he prefers to stay in for recording and streaming. Other times he's just like, I want to leave now. But yeah, since that's not a living quarters area. Or hang to dry. Maybe we can... Maybe there's a hang to dry in one of these places? One of these buildings? I haven't gone... Invading people's homes. All that much. I just think it's rude. And then again, it could be talking about 
another village. That's the problem. So, oh, hey, uh, another wisp. All right, so it doesn't seem like those clothes lines or place where clothes hang to dry. And no, that's not even what exactly what it says. It, what exactly it says? Where things hang to dry at living quarters. Specifically, li my living quarters. Those aren't the only living quarters. There's living quarters over here. I am a genius. <laughs> I'm actually quite the dumbass, because I didn't think that these living quarters existed. I live here, and I completely forgot that I live here. Doesn't seem like there's any clotheslines here. So, nope, it seems to be talking about a different village. Once again, same thing. Village gate. There was something about a village gate. There's actually quite a few things about villages. There's one about Eye of the Village. Still love that tech. <laughs> it's obvious they don't want you to get out of bounds. <clears throat> trying to think. Oh, hey. I need to explore more. Some of these are actually, you'd think that looking for a clothesline that holds an unknown wouldn't be that bad. But apparently it is. I guess while we're here, what moves can Curlia learn? My Curlia. Any new moves? Doesn't seem like it, I don't think. Oh yeah, and I, while I was also out there, I played around with uh, Ursa Luna and uh, found a few sellable things. You're what, the second clothesline? Unknown, unknown, are you here? Can you hear me? Apparently not. And we got pretty much all of the, the wisps. And that's all the wisps for this area. Let's go talk to the girl that sent us out on this errand in the first place. And I hear Pokemon cries. While I'm here, because again, let me check it specifically and see what it says. And the music, <laughs> the music going up made me think, it's like, hmm, is this important? Let's see. Gate. A village gateway. And then the left eye atop the village. So I'm trying to think what those could be. Village gateway seems obvious. This is a village gateway. And I'm trying to think if there's like any place that I'm supposed to like trick shot a ball. And then left eye atop the... So that's how it is. Okay. So I may not be wrong. They're just really well hidden. And it's nighttime. Nighttime. All right, let's be extra frickin' scrutiny. Super scrutatious. Once again, this is probably not the righty ho place because 
I'm gonna be freaking looking out everywhere because they're freaking. I'm trying to think of the. You know those. Uh. Games. Where you just like find this object amid this field of objects. It's like that. In 3D goddamn space. It was on the gateway, so I don't think it'll be super difficult to 100% point out where they are, maybe? I need more cases to look at it. Let's talk to the soul girl. I found all of her. Thanks for helping me. You've collected 10 wisps so far. At least 97 wisps to find. Since you've gathered 5 wisps, wisps, here's a little thank you present for me. Oval stone. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is round and smooth. Oh, you gathered 10, haven't you? Please take this as well. Rare candy. Find 10 more and I'll give you a reward. Uh, nope, I'm good. Alright. I'm gonna look for the eye atop. But let's see. Gate, 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 gate. I need to put the gate in. Search my word document. Gate. Village gateway. Complete. And while we're here, wrong one, let's take a look at unknown. Nope. It's just still. It's, eh. Nothing new there. But left eye atop the village. Left eye atop the village. Huh. I could have sworn those were actual, like, uh, wheezing faces in the trailer. The initial trailer. Left eye atop the village. You think it would be something here at the like uh, the big big building of the village? Because like again, the village gateway once again could be talking about different villages. Left eye. Maybe the left eye of the magic carp, which means it would be on the other side. Be kind of hard to get to, but the straight flying. I knew it. Feather ball! Go! Okay, that was boring for me. What? How are they not hitting? Maybe it can only be done with a normal Pokeball? It seems like it would have to be with a diddly dang air ball, feather ball. Okay, that seems like invisible wall territory. And I, but I hate wasting all my feather balls on this unless there's like a way to get to the roof of the building. Wait, is there a way to get to the roof of the building? Maybe. Let's see if there's a way to get to the roof of the building. And get like a clear shot, because I swear I'm hitting those shots. And the game's probably like, no, you have to be in the right area to do it. I'm gonna catch that goddamn. Excuse me, sir. I'm just looking for doors up here. Door! So, yeah. I guess I didn't need my beloved. So this is probably where they meant you to be. To catch it. My idea should have worked, too. What? Very precise, you wanted. Oh, and I did find out why my Eevee, first Eevee, became an Umbreon instead of a Sylveon. I didn't have baby doll eyes equipped. Understandable. Alright, but now... 
left eye atop the village complete. Wish they were like kind of by order. Let's see. Are there any other village? Well, the clothesline one where things hang to dry. But I do I do really like what they did with the left eye atop the village. It was literally the left eye on the magic carp. But now we still need to find the the only thing I don't want a raspberry. I haven't been in here. Let's go in here. Invade people's homes. Maybe where clothes hang to drop or things in a living quarter. So maybe my living quarter. Does my living quarter have a where things hang to dry? Because that's all it is. Where things hang to dry living quarter. Well, you can't bring out your balls here, maybe in mine? Because I could have sworn I checked all over the village. Again, it could be because there's other villages and these things are out of order like all crazy. The left eye of the diddly dee all the way at the end. I'll investigate. They're lovely stones, it's almost found, but they're just plain old stones. Could totally be mega stones. I swear to you. Oh, yeah. Trying to look and see. A lone tree in a pond in a grove among stumps. Oh yeah, I'll have to go do that one when we go to the mire. It's basically, hey, go to that place you've already been to. Claws line. Here's another living quarter. So maybe. But there's no clothes lines here. Or hang to dry places. I guess let's invade people's homes some more. So yeah, going into places doesn't seem to be the answer because can't bring up balls. Luckily, that's out of the way, but I'm still torn because it's just like, well, obviously, we looked and there were no unknown at the clotheslines. But then my brain is just like, but what if? But what if? Because they're sneaky little bastards. But they seem quite literal. Uh, gateway to the village, it was literally on the gateway. Left eye, it was on the left eye, so... You'd think they would be hanging with the clothes near the... Well, they would be out hanging to dry, like the rest of things. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I want to quickly look at the thing. Everyone's incompatible. I wish I could check my entire catalog and be like, can this be used? Did we check this building? I think we checked this building. Let's check it again. Quite crowded. There's always a need for labor here. It's the perfect place to make myself useful. It's not like I was doing much back home anyway. You actually have a glass cabinet. I am envious. But still on the hunt for hanging to dry near living quarters. I already completed you. Oh yeah, there was another, wasn't there? Do -do -do -do. A time-worn ship on a sandy shore. A time-worn ship on a sandy shore. I'm going to quickly check that ship over here. Again, now that we have actually know how unknowns function in this game. 
They are hiding from us. Hiding silent and unmoving. Let's see, are there any unknown on this ship? On this boat? Not from what I can see. And the sounds of Pokemon rattle through the air. I almost wish the, the fun... It, if I had known that I was going to enjoy this game so much, I really would have bumped up Pokemon Platinum and played Pokemon Platinum and maybe Place of Crystal. So that way I could actually maybe get a bit more of the references here or there. Yeah, we already did you, so we don't have to worry about you. I don't want to know. Near living quarters where things hang to dry. Specifically, near hanging. <laughs> near the hanging quarters. That just sounds like a, a weird name for a book. I really want to know. Huh. Hello, Bidoof. I didn't expect to see you there. How am I supposed to find unknown when I can't even see Bidoof on the roof? Man, Breaking Bad went into a really weird direction. Yeah, where things hang to dry near living quarters. Look from over here, bigger. See, so yeah, it doesn't seem like it's over here. Well, well, there's plenty of time to search for them elsewhere. Let's see if there's any other village mentions. Village gateway, left eye of the village. Nope, those are the only village ones. Well, directly referencing a village. Let me check the about my requests. Still don't know where any cheerums are. Uh, we need to fill out the Rosil Rosalia Pokedex page. Ah, what a massive mushroom. To bloom or not bloom. Yeah, that, that. So yeah, let's talk to the dude. Talk to the dude! I wonder if he'll be asking for a vile plume. And then I also know where another unknown should be. It seems some of my fellow mushroom enthusiasts are looking into a fungus that sprouts from the back of a certain Pokemon. Parasect. Ah, never mind. If you manage to catch one, I'd love to take it off your hands and do some research on my own. As a mushroom foraging veteran of 20 years, I am to keep my finger on the bo uh, beating pulse of all fungal fact-finding endeavors, after all. Sure, my dude. Let's see. Yep, you want specifically Parasect. I have one. I don't care about it. You can have it. <laughs> this is a lovely mushroom and all, but where's the Parasect you promised me? You can't be saying the mushroom is actually... Surprise! I am Bug. Yeah! The mushroom! It, it turned around! Uh, no, no, you're saying this thing is a Pokemon, not a mushroom. And yet, call it a forger's intuition, but 20 long years of picking tells me something is amiss. Yes, I'm sure of it. This thing that took to, uh, turned to look at me at just now, it's definitely a mushroom. <laughs> Had you for a minute there. Please forgive my mushroom humor. My shroom humor. What could you imagine? <laughs> To think a Pokemon is really just a mushroom. Such a thing is just stuff of fiction, right? And we got Candy Truffle. I forget what Candy Truffle does. Because I think I found some while moving about looking for Eevees. And I think I discovered how the Eevees function. Let's see. Candy Truffle. For crafting. Yeah. 
was just for crafting. Oh yeah, and I also uh, caught a giant mime junior because it was just wandering around, and it gave me a seat of mastery. If I so, if I want to master a move. And it's just like, of course, the moment that I go, I think I will do a bit of off-screen stuff just so I can play the game more, level up some things. And then I just stumbled upon an entire buttload of new things in the first area, and I'm just like, well, now I'm in pain. I keep forgetting about the giant box near the gate. My initial thing is like, go here for box. I could get another... I'm just going to use all my my pebble granite that I have or grit dust because I want to just improve especially you my dude because while we're here just raise everything can't do anything now let's see I say special attack. And then speed. Try and raise everything. Let's see. I guess maybe you? And I'll go ahead and evolve this Ralt. As well. So we have two Curlias. Woot woot. Now quickly. All right. We'll have to get a dawn stone for a Gallade. That way I can have a Gallade and a Gardevoir. I knew one of the evolutions required a stone. Which means we're gonna have to go after a lot of satchels, because I don't think that I have a dawn stone. And getting a dawn stone, I don't know where a dawn stone would be. Let's go ahead and put things away. Move, move, mastery, sure. Uh, move, move, move. Oval stone. Maybe I'll have to look up what Pokemon evolved from an oval stone. Move. And once we get to camp, I'll diddly D, but it doesn't seem like there's much left here to do. No, I keep mixing up X and Y. Ah! So yeah, Ros Rosilia, Bitterleaf, and then, but I don't know where Cherum is. I don't know where Cherum is! <laughs> That's the bad thing. I, oh, and like, it could be an Eevee thing. But before we go to the Mireland, I want to explore just a little bit more of uh, the field lands and heights. Just ever so slightly, a little bit more. Little bit of adventure. And, uh, diddly dee. We can go to the cave and check out if that, uh, one cave actually holds what I require. We definitely want more of you. We definitely need more medicinal leaks. And plus, coming here allows us to level up some Pokemon. Gonna have to dodge a bunch of Drift Loons. And I think I discovered, sadly, that I won't be able to find other players' satchels because I think it might be an online-only feature. And uh, you have very limited online stuff without a diddly-dee subscription. 
and I don't have the subscription because I don't really play online games all that much. So, we're going to quickly go this way. About to get medicinal leaks and look about for any Eevees because I want to at very least evolve some of my Pokemon. Oh god, it's a, a monster drift wound. Fight him. We can't let him get away. Let's try and catch it. It's level 17. I'm level 32, so... I should be able to knock it about decently. And I have false swipe. Oh, but it doesn't affect it? Oh, well, that's gonna... That's if we're gonna put a dealer D in my plan. Aerial Ace, I guess. That works. They, I, I think that's what it means. That means it doesn't affect it because it's an X. Because it, I guess it makes sense. It's a ghost type, and I guess false swipe is. Hint. Well, let's try a great ball. Yeah, worked. Good. Works for me. And I need to use uh, Aerial Ace more for my dude. Before we evolve you. Although, uh, while I was moving about, I did see uh, an Infer- uh, a Monferno and a Chimchar. So that goes to confirm that uh, once you do a certain quest, those poke like, uh, if I am led to believe correctly, if you do a certain quest for a certain Pokemon, then that Pokemon will start appearing in the wild at random. I've got some great balls for you. It went into the tall grass, so you need to be careful. Damn it! How did it see me that far away? And I think, yeah, it disappeared. Darn it! You very skittish Pokemon, the Eevees. Oh, the tall grass, both my ally and my enemy. I wanted an Eevee, and then the Eevee ran into the tall grass and escaped me. And that'll probably be the only Eevee that spawned out here. And I think I touched upon it earlier, but I don't think I explicitly said how it functions. But I've, the way I believe that certain Pokemon function when being found is... Some like Wurple, Starly, Buzel... They spawn in, and then they can just, like, periodically spawn more and more and more. But when it comes to the rarer Pokemon, like Mime Jr. and Eevee, when you spawn in to begin your expedition, it kind of sets how many of those Pokemon are in their preferred locations. And if they run away or get caught, that's it. As far as I'm aware, that is how it functions. And since we went all the way here and discovered nothing, there shouldn't be any more EVs for me to care about, so I can ride this. Because I actually ran across two EVs once before. Wait, no, that's a Buzel. Just want to make sure. Yeah. On my. Oh, I've been here before. I'll just wander about. Look for EVs. Have any be? Before the billion new things just popped out at me to scream in my face and laugh at my misery. Was I came across two Eevees, but I was riding upon this monstrosity. And they saw me from a mile away and ran. Oh yeah, let's see. Any satchels? 
There is a satchel over there that we can't get to, and a satchel up on Deer Track Heights, somewhere around the Diddly D. Stantler Alpha, I think. I do like that they let you ride Pokemon for expediency. I still don't have a rock type, so I can't beat up the... Or do I? I thought I... Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see what Curly and friends... I really should give them names, actually, come to think about it. You shall be named... Lancelot. And you shall be named... Uh, Morgan? We should really name you too, since you're gonna be a decent staple of the team. I'll probably butcher the spelling. Or is it just one in? Nah, that looks wrong. It looks wrong. Screwed it. Butchered Marion you are. Still wish that I could throw Pokemon from the back of my monstrosities. Not even just to catch Pokemon, just to do the thing. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Thing will pop out. That startled Geo dude is here to be angry. Yeah, just tackle it, I guess. Yeah, it's only gonna get worse from here. At least I'll be able to see a decent amount of... Do you not have baby doll eyes on you? I might have put baby doll eyes on you. Why did that? I put it on you, goddammit. I am ongered. Go for it. Try. Maybe it'll miss. Probably not. Yeah, I thought it was fixated. You just weren't strong enough. Maybe if you had the goddamn baby doll eyes, you would have lived! Because I swore I put him on! And I haven't even... Reloaded a save or anything. I don't think I've loaded a save the entire time I've played this game. And the game is just like, no, you didn't put baby doll eyes there. Even though I did. God damn it. Super confusion. Here in the great wide world, let's put fucking motherfucking baby doll eyes back here solidly. Well, Morgan got to annihilate the rock. Time for Lancelot to annihilate a rock. Normal confusion, I guess. Ah, kill. Good. And we defeated 25 of them. Yay. And now that we're up here, we need to go this way. To search for... Huh. It didn't even... They didn't even die to the giant one. 
They just die to the normal one. Which, to be fair, they can be kind of scary, but... Oh no! Richie, get him! He died out here! Poor Richie, get him. Hmm. What do I need from him? He ran away. Standler, look at me. I need to look at you. I need to beat you up and catch you. Let's see. Bonk. Hey. Go ahead and quick hack him to death. Utterly horrendous. So you really need to grit up your attack stat. And let's find another Stantler to catch so that we can iron out its... Ooh, we got Stardust that we can sell. You don't see any. Go. Get caught. Get caught. Get caught. Yay. And if there's nothing else, no. Uh, I guess we'll make our way to that cave. That's broken. And we can't do much with. So to the... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I think there's actually also a diddly D. Uh... A diddly D D Unknown at the dam. I remember there being something like where sticks and logs dam the river. For a moment I thought that was a gol... Uh, not a golem, but a... Uh, what's his name? A bastard, yeah. What level were you? Level 30 or level 40? I might be able to catch you. Might. I just... I guess I could go on a killing spree. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess I could go on a killing spree against the... Parasects. Well, the Paris and then Parasect. Oh, there's a Alpha Paris right there. Damn it. You didn't see anything, you stupid slut. I'm fine, we'll beat you up. Let's see, this will be a beginning run for your master. Level 27. Well, that's not good at all. Normal confusion upon the Paris. God damn it. Venom Shock, my favorite evil thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. Psychic is weak to poison. For some reason, my brain went in a different direction. And then this because he is part grass type. we get annihilated because the world is mean. I uh, definitely need a fire type. Agile beat you up. We mostly need to worry about you because I don't I did I I don't think I got you fire punch. I hate Venice Shock. Why is it even a move? It just seems to be a bullshit thing. Why is it here? Venishok just seems stupid to me. Why is it here? 
Snorlax. At this point, I don't care if it dies. Yeah, Venoshock just seems stupid. I hate it. Every single time it happens, it's just like, it really shouldn't kill, but it does. It should not exist. Developer who made Venoshock a thing. Report to my office, you'll never be seen again. Go ahead and heal you up. Since you got beat up fighting Diddly, but since we don't have anything... Well, let's see. Anybody have... If anybody has it, it would be you. I don't think I gave you it, no. I don't have much, so... No real point going up to try and catch it because it's like a uh, uh, fight me man. I don't want to fight you. I do not have uh, any fire moves because I put my Lux Ray away. So hilariously, bug and bug and poison are my my bane of existence. But yeah, I thought. Oh wait, I thought that poison uh, could be that. Hmm. Did they redo the typings at some point? Terrible at typings. Was there... I think that there might have been a diddly D. Is it there? Is there a type chart in here? Anywhere? Because I thought there might be a type chart. There we go. Type chart. Let's see, psychic. What's what psychic? Psychic. I don't know why they moved them about. Why did they move them about for this one? Because there's. It doesn't even, ah, I guess maybe because they didn't fit all of them into the first one. So let's see. Psychic is strong against bug, it should be. But I guess, hmm. But then poison over here. Psychic is neither here or there. Even though I could have sworn psychic was good against the diddly before. I don't know. They could have redone the typings. My brain could just be collapsing. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Hmm. What moves do all my Pokemon have that I could annihilate a normal type with for the funsies? What moves do you inherently have? Everything there. I wish it would. If I'm clicking B, let me leave! <laughs> That's the one thing I hate whenever games are like that. Are you sure that you'd like to leave this menu that you're trying to leave? Especially when it's super easy to get to the menu again? Please, let me fuck off and leave. Yeah, because there should be an unknown somewhere around here. First, let's beat up this guy for being in my way. You're filled with a wild might, and I don't care about your might, so die. And then let's see. Ah, just another snarl. Ah, there's the unknown. There we go. I probably could have waited out, but I'm scared of the water. The water legitimately scares me in this game. Because I hate it. I don't want to risk it. Uh, no more iron chunks in the water, though, it seems. 
Then again, there should maybe be some iron trunks all the way out here. Yeah. My favorite guaranteed two iron trunks. I'm just trying to think. What else? What else? Oh, yes, now we just need to head for the cave. Because I don't think there's much else out here that I care about. Unless there's going to be an alpha bunnery. That would be amusing. I mean, we saw an alpha... What is his name? We saw an alpha... Once again, wish I could just lock on you. Defeated with flying type moves. Bonk. Oh, I didn't get it. How sad. It has it must have eyes on the back of its head. That's Daryl Ace. It would be immensely amusing to see an alpha bunnery. Doubt that I'll see one. But at the same time, I saw an alpha mine junior. So what do I know to expect from this nightmare of a game? <laughs> There's still that star after, I think it's called. Star Avery. I don't care about you. I'm here collecting items so I can head to a cave. Ooh, that means I'll be able to... Fuck off, let me grab things. I hate that when you're on a... Oh. Gold bats are just naturally big. So I didn't expect to see an alpha gold bat. Let's see. Can be caught normally. So if it shows me it's back, go. Hopefully. Nope. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. Hate that it gets an attack off like that. Stupid. He's so big that merely noticing me it hates me. Ah, get two moves off of him. Bizarre. Don't worry about advantage when advantage comes later. Never mind, he's gonna get multiple out because it's a jerk. It's a cheater, that's what it is. Why is poison the thing that I'm going up against a lot and just failing? Suffer at the hands of a giant monster, will ya? Ah, I can do two quick attacks if I want. Iron tail. Let's go. Let's try an iron tail. Ah, oh, fuck you. I avoided the attack. I'm a jerk. And then you're gonna do a strong, aren't you? Nope, you're just doing a normal. Why am I having the hardest time with fucking normal attack? There's poison attacks. What bastarding bitch. Let's try a great ball. If not, Lancelot will kill you. Hopefully. Well, you're gonna die now, bitch. I guess it's that fairy type. The fairy is what makes it super effective against... I don't understand 
It just gets so more complicated. This Pokemon is both super effective against and to itself. Die, bastard. You had your chance, now you must die. I really need to find something to just be a poison annihilator. Obviously, we must nerf the poison type. They already gave a Vin a shock, it doesn't need anything more. Send it back to the G1 days, everyone. It deserves no help. Get the fuck out of here, Drifloot. Nobody likes you. You're up there on the kidnaps kids list of Pokemon. Which is a surprising amount of them, all things considered. At least down here, we can get some iron chunks. They look and see what Pokemon are here. And look for that unknown. Another Machop. More Machop. Let's see. Heavy man, destroy him. Seen use moves. Defeated with flying type. So I guess we're here to annihilate you today. Annihilate with the flying type move. We can laugh at its misery. What's here to attack me? You? You have sealed your own war into death. Attack the grass man all you like, huh? You can't even. But I shall destroy you ever immensely even more. Ah, huh, another one spawned in. Ah, I don't care about you. I'm here for these. And I leaves. Because unless it is on the outside, it's entirely possible. Entirely possible that the unknown is on the other side. And not... Here. I wonder what that noise is. I don't see any unknown. Let me check just to make sure. An impasse in a cave adorned by Twin Falls. So it's possible this might be because there isn't Twin Falls. Maybe. That could be it. It could be that even though it is an impasse and a cave, it is not the right impasse cave. Which is kind of silly. Could be that there's a impasse cave later in the game that can't be broken, because that looks like totally destroyable rocks. Look for any potential unknown. Nope, don't see any unknown on in there. It's possible that I just missed it because my eyesight is dying, but who knows. Who knows? But with that, I don't think there's much reason to stick around, because we can't get to that satchel. And there doesn't seem to be much else to do. We can't get to these islands because we can't swim. Same thing with that. That area is kind of scary, and there isn't really all that much to do. So it's really better to just head home, set things, and then head to the Meyerlands. 
I've caught five Pokemons. Most of them unknown, hilariously enough. I wonder if he'll mention the unknown themselves. <laughs> All of it is the different forms obtained for the unknown. That's hilarious. Head back to the village, I guess. Maybe make a bunch of new Pokeballs, mainly Great Balls if I can, with my irons. Well, at the same time, we could just leave and make them at base camp. So to the Maya lands I had to go. Because there isn't any diddly things to do. If only we could develop the teleportation technology so I could swap Pokemon out here. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's poti potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Calibur riding around on that Ursaluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses his sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Don't really see why, because, uh... Digging and burying things is mostly how they stay hidden. We bury corpses in the ground so they can't be smelled. So kind of, yeah... Go ahead and make more of these, since I wasted so many. Because I thought I was smart. I thought I was being intelligent. And, uh, oh, we need super potions to make that. Heals 150 health. I'm not really going to make much of pep up plants, so I might as well make some super potions. And you're supposed to annihilate the the one type, the type that I use. My, my fair. What do we need to do for you? Uh, catch at night. Number defeated. Defeated using ghost type moves. Let's check a look at my Pokemon. Because I think at least you should. Yep, we have Shadow Ball so we can annihilate you. Let's go before more get involved. Go, Shadow Ball! I'm quite disappointed that I can't send out multiple Pokemon in response to multiple Pokemon coming after me. Just small, just small bit. That was so slightly aggravating. I want to beat up the enemy and the game's like, no, you can't. Why not? There's multiple of them. Why can't I have multiple of me? Oh, well. Uh, uh. Disappear all you want. Unless you're disappearing because it's daytime. Fool! <laughs> Shadow Ball to death! Ah, new move for Marion. Horribly, horribly spelled Marion. Why do you want Carnivine? It wasn't Carnivine. What's after me? What is angry of my existence? Oh, it is Carnivine. What do we need for you? Uh, defeat of a flying type. Let's annihilate you from flying type mode. You're angry. I'm angry. We're all angry. Time for you to die. Flying move. Kill. What are you even weak to? With fire type moves. So, yeah, it seems to be primarily fire type with you. Little abomination bastard. I really should. I should probably. Okay, note to self. Next time we are in town, teach La Punny a fucking punch. 
Hello there, you just standing around? He does not care. The unknown. They don't care. I guess while we're wandering about, we can try and find treasure. Uh, it's up on this cliff that I... Okay. What treasure? Treasure's up there! How do I get up there? I don't think this is how I'm supposed to get up here! This is not how you're supposed to get up here. But it is how I got up here. Holy shit! Did there be a monster right you? And once again, I don't really have anything to beat up electric types either. My type coverage is terrible. Oh shit. You didn't see anything. Shut up. I was gonna throw a heavy ball at you. I just want to see what level he is. Okay, kind of look uh, to your left, please. Maybe I can... Nope. Please, yeah. Ah, uh, can't be obtained. That's understandable. And it's level 52, so it scares me. You're level 44. Oh, boy. This is definitely a place I do not want to be right now. But I am. Okay. Item, item, item. Don't mind me, I'm just looking. Yeah, that's a good thing to sell. Okay. That's all I basically wanted, unless there's more up here. Nope, there doesn't seem to be much up here, so I shall leave. I don't know what you're supposed to do to get up here normally, but... Okay, I'll take what I can get. And we got a king sleep. I don't care about you. But let's see. Diddly -de dee. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, don't know why. Up oh, there we go. Why is it? Oh, that's because it's story related. Ursaluna is uh, obsessed with going over yonder cliffs. And maybe we will make it. Maybe we will make it. Skyrim this. Maybe we can Skyrim it. Maybe one of these slopes will be just allowance. <laughs> one of them. Ta -da 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 -da. Ta -da! I love when games go stupid. I wonder if the blue sense is getting in the way. The blue 
distance may very well be getting in the way of my super expedition. Oh well. We'll have to do the story to properly use our Saluna in this area. <coughs> Shut up, Paris. Nobody likes you. Just go get that. Yeah. Alright. No quick attacking me. Whoop. Silly Paris. No one likes you. You're nobody's favorite Pokemon. How does that make you feel? I don't think it made it feel good. Now let's see what's over at the place today. It looks like uh, a... I don't know. An Iron Trunk. My favorite Pokemon. What do we need to do for you? We need to uh, give it food for one. Here you go. Food. Otherwise, uh, I guess beat them up. Or catch them without being spotted. Heavy ball. Heavy. Wow. You're mean. You shall die now. How dare you run away when you attack me, you coward! If you attack me, do it with honor! Of course, I don't hold myself to the same standards, because I'm the protagonist. Whoa, this music! This music's good! This is pro gun territory, so that's a bit mean. Huh. There's a request over there, but it's on the cliffs. I don't th and oh yeah, it's also through the fucking bog of evil death! I don't want to go through the bog. That's where the giant hippos are! And all the ghastlies that were gaslighting me! And it doesn't even seem like there's a- is there no bridge? To get over there! Nope, uh, there's no- we are not going to the home of trials just yet. Well, I guess, uh, all else forsaken, let us, uh, go on a journey. Excuse me, I need to go. Maybe she is up the cliffs. Of course, that just means I'll find a way over! I will find a way over! I'll find a way over! <laughs> Magical power of Ursalona! I can just fucking ride over everything, I love it. The game, uh, granted there was a way up here normally. I just didn't care to actually use the normal path. Why be normal? Well, you can frickin' Skyrim this shit. Hello, Tangela. Have we caught one of you? I don't think we have. <gasps> see nothing. See nothing. Go! The space time distortion is forming! Where? Where? Does it show on the map? We're heading over there. We are heading over there. He'll probably kick our ass. Well, let's go. about you. Yeah, hopefully it just runs away. 
trying to look for any Pokemon that might get in my way. I heard something roar. I don't like that noise. Where are we dropping, boys? Going through a space-time distortion, they said. You might be able to find uh, rare Pokemon and items, they said. I don't see any new Pokemon at all, just... Okay, the, the the tree scared me more than you. Will you please go away? Dude, go away! I hate Grogunks. They're just everywhere. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just a Krogunk on the other side of the portal. Dimensional rift. Yeah, there's just... There doesn't seem to be anything in this dimensional rift. Time-space rift. Just a bunch of goddamn Krogunks! And they're not even high level. A bunch of Krogunks. A Carnivine. A Badu. What's up the rumbling? Oh, now it's appeared. Uh oh. Is that a Pokemon or an item? That's an item. I want that item. Give it. Oh, it's a fucking Porygon. Level 23? We fuck off. <laughs> I want to fight you and only you. Good, I can fight you and only you. Hmm. Quick attack. Let's try and catch a Porygon. It's not supposed to exist for who knows how long. I'll catch a fucking Porygon. I can even give it upgrade. Maybe it's just draining kit. Use a great ball. I want a Pori God. I'll call him Dexter. Hell yeah, Pori God! Oh crap! A Flareon! Out of the way, out of the way. I want to catch this Flareon. Damn it. Leave me alone, you bastards. <laughs> worst comes to worst, I can ride my... I don't have fucking items. The wrong button. Okay. What do I want to sacrifice? Out of everything here, I could sacrifice. There's a lot that I'm willing to sacrifice. Look at this. These kind of things. Pep up plants. Like, discard. Get out of here. There's a lot of items. All of you, get out. Springy mushrooms, get the fuck out. I have items. I don't want to favorite you. You're not my favorite. You're my least favorite. That's why I'm getting rid of you. I hate that they teleport in and out so quickly. Yep. Oh, hey, another Porygon. Sorry, mate. I'm scared. It's like the moment that I find a place of safety, it takes it away from me. Granted, it's also one of my least favorite places for safety. Huh? 
Oh god, a Snorlax and Umbreon and shit. I needed to heal, but I want another Porygon. Give me another Porygon. Hopefully they can't march in and join a battle once the battle's in motion. Alright, now we'll use... Ah, uh, that... Uh, that might not be good. Use Draining Kiss. That's bull. At least you're not dead. Draining Kiss. Perfect. Ah, critical hit too. And of course, great ball for a great Porygon. That was a freaking Snorlax. But it was surrounded by other Pokemon that would annihilate me in a second. There's something else here too that I was kind of interested in. Okay, while we're here... Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and use a potion to heal you. This time-space distortion stuff? That's honestly the scariest part. I'm just walking around, minding my business, when suddenly, giant bastards appear. Heracross. And they're ready for battle. Huh. Umbreon. I already have an Umbreon. I like my Umbreon. Granted, I could beat you up, but there's also a Floatzel there, and I don't deal with Floatzel. Honestly, I should not run in these places. I, why is that the bunch that always come for me? I'm gonna ride you away. Gang distance. Mainly look for items, look for Pokemon second because they come out, in, like, unless it's a Porygon. I wonder what the hell they're gonna consider Porygon. Don't want to do you! Hey, another Pokey and Porygon. A Pokegon. Dump you one's blood. Floats a Lux Rain shit. Nope. Okay, I survived through a distortion of hell. I got a lot of items. I'm going to go to camp. Hello. Oh, yeah, it turned to night since then. Okay. 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 That was fun. Whew. We're going to make our way to the bog bound camp, I guess. Let's get the hell out of here. Get the hell out, will you just get the hell out? <laughs> oh, will you leave if I give you 500 elephants? It's time to conquer all of India. Most of India. I think I might have thrown away a bit too many things, but... Fucking Krogunks! I forget. You! Beat up this bastard. Well, that's just rude. Shadow Ball. Please don't let it be the alpha that's on my ass. No, it's another fucking Krogunk! Alright. For you, it's with dark type moves and catching. Let's see. Let's try. 
Worst comes to worst, I'll beat you with uh, Dark Pulse. Okay, dude. You'll die now. Dark Pulse time. Huh, so the giant alpha isn't here yet, right now. Maybe because it's nighttime? Nope, it's here! Krogunk! I hate you. Krogunk is just a bastard. Go away. And there's a golem. I fucking hate you, mate. I guess I could try and beat you up, but... I seem to annihilate you pretty quickly. If you can survive, I guess. Can't survive. Rolling around at the speed of sound. It's a graveler. Oh, we've already beaten some of you. Oh yeah, I forgot. One popped out was like, oh, I'll just grab that, and then... Huh. If that works, that'll be lucky. Nope. No luck for me. Come on, come play! Fine, I'll kill you. Water pulse. Hey, but Alright, we made it all the way to the base. Time to put just an absolute metric hell <laughs> into this, and then we'll actually try and do things. Oh, wrong. That's not the box. That's the crafting. It's like, why is my inventory so empty? Upgrade. It's, trans it's loved by a certain Pokemon. Porygon. Blue Shard. It uh, appears to be a fragment of some sort of implement made long ago. King's Leaf. DDD. Something that's really good for selling. Sootfoot Root. I'm going to move all of these. A green shard of some sort of implement from long ago. Bo. My brain wants to say Pokedex or something along those lines. Phone, Pokedex, something like that. Other people are dying in those dimensional portals and they're, well, they're dying. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rest. Just in case. Increase our power points. And actually hunt down the bitch. Monsters. Oh, fuck. Stun tank of evil. What do I get from looking for my knight? What well, fucking onyx? I'm here for story. Why did my camera whip around? Who's that? Well, it's somebody. It's probably who I'm looking for. Okay. Onyx. I think he's coming to murder me.
Well, whoever is looking for me, fuck off. I'm all the way over here. Stop looking for me. Thank you. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna catch- fuck. Don't you want that? Yeah, come away from those bastards. No, you can't roll out at me. I have the high ground. Eh, what level are you? Level 24. Guess I can try. I have the high ground. Let's see. If you survive, you probably won't. I killed my first Sonic so well. At least I know they can spawn here now. I don't need any more skunk tanks. Skunk tanks. Hello. Who are you? You don't look like Erezu. Oh no, you are. For some reason I thought you had darker hair. Oh, Neon, how did it all go with Ursa Luna? Huh, I calmed him down. Wow, you really are strong, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursa Luna found you. He tracked me all the way here by the scent of the, the those potatoes I ate? Potato mochi I ate? That Ursa Luna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. My luck's run out, though, as can, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are. Erezu, right? <laughs> M Mistress Calibur, I, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you of disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursa Luna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursa Luna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursa Luna. I'm, it must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make balms, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilee was to help uh, for Ursa Luna and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Lavington and he told me about the balms you used to quell cleaver. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well then, we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Hey, Adamant, what are you doing here? Adamant! What were you thinking, doing this all yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one could blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Neon. I'll take the bombs that Erezu made and may meet you at Bra Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Erezu. Neon will calm Lilligant. That will be that. Things would be settled. Head to Brava Arena, Neon. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Erezu will be taken care of, my dear. Bibro and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Alrighty. I'm just sad that I didn't get to catch an onyx. Now that we actually get to see an onyx in full glory. And I didn't even get to catch him. But now I can fly! Item, item. There we go, dig for treasure. 
Yeah, that's just candy trouble. You missed, you little shit. <laughs> Care, don't care. Hmm, I need to slow that bastard down. Fight me, bastard. And by fight me, I mean look away so I can get you. But before we go back, 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 I'm gonna head to the... the temple to see if... There's a... Oi, why is the camera being weird? Oh, wait, so there we go. Sunstone! Super nice. We'll head to the temple that we first saw Kabbalah at. Because, uh... One of the things says something about ruined pillars and stuff. There's the uber-evolved Tangela that I'm not gonna deal with. Run past the abomination! I know that one of the unknown has something to do with pillars. I have to be very careful when it comes to pillars. Well, let's see. Maybe there'll be an unknown here. Or would that be too on the nose for unknown? Doesn't seem to be any unknown in there. Let's take a look at... Well, we already did the Bidu. So I don't really need to... worry about you. I guess let's try and get to that new request. Wait, is that where the... I don't think... Uh, I think around here is like a block. Because I think that's where we found... Or did we find? I don't know where we found her. Yeah, I think we found her up here. But hey. I guess we could try. Monstrous... Paris. More like a parasite, am I right? <clears throat> Granted, that's probably why it's called that. Paris, parasite. For the mushrooms. You can't catch me. I'm riding a weird deer. I almost fell off. Dear God. But honestly, I can't wait for another time-space distortion to form. That'll be interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's why. Because it's bastard. They just want to knock you off your Pokemon if they see you. Because they're mean. But they didn't know I had the ultimate technique. Bringing my Pokemon back to run away even though they knocked me off my Pokemon. The ultimate ability. Not giving a shit. There sure are a bunch of gravelers. Let's see. Yep, up through here and the Scarlet Bog to get up there. I want to see if I can maybe make my way. Probably won't be able to. Probably won't be able to. Then again, maybe I can go up here and something will be here. Huh, why didn't I come up here? Boss for later. Also thoughts to remember. 
I guess if I really wanted to, I could try and go down there, but I don't think there'd be a way back. Wait, what's that over there? Is it just a plant? It might just be a plant. But it looks like there might be a way up. There's a person. And a waterfall. Hello. You know Grit Dust and Grit Gravel, that wild Pokemon sometimes drop? You can use those to train up your Pokemon. Yep, knew that. And away from them. Did I go across here? Yeah, I think I ran wildly. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm trying to think where the hell I found her. Ah, this is where it leads to a little ways down from the sludge mound that I don't think I've journeyed to. A Teddy Ursa. Some, yeah, lots of Teddy Ursa. Ah, seems like a decent place to explore, but I want to see if I can... Well, first... See if we can make our way up through here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we ran across these bogs to where she is. Uh, yeah, she is. More Krogunk. They just live in the nightmare worlds, huh? Iron? At least that explains where the giant skunk tank is, came from. Why do you look at me? I throw mud at you. Stop. Stop it. Eh. Throw mud at you. Eh. I throw mud at you. I throw mud at you. I'll, be, I'll laugh hilariously if that actually works. LOL. Okay, note to self, you can stun Pokemon with mud and stuff. But you have to hit him in the face. And... Seems a bit wonky, but I think I got it. You see nothing. <gasps> Is that a... That's a Rhyhorn! You know I can just fucking kill you with a water pulse, you dick. I'm gonna annihilate you. Annihilate you first. Water pulse. Die. I would have cried if it survived and be like, I'm gonna be the first one to survive. I'm a jerk. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that's a fighting move, isn't it? Strong style draining kiss. Heal yourself and damage him. Which means an agile brain kiss will do a good job. Agile brain kiss. Ah, uh, now we can try and capture you. And, uh, pray to God that, uh, I actually capture you. Come home with me! You know, I wish that catching in combat counts as defeated. Go look at that. And 
have to take a look at what your Pokedex says. Woot woot. Ah, and that was a heavy specimen, too. Neat. I hate Graveler. It rolls around at the speed of sound too much for my liking. It's like a patrolling Pokemon. Yeah, we're just up here. I don't even know where we ran into the Erezu anymore. I'm losing my mind. I think we ran up... Was it just through blind panic and fear that I went to the right place? I just got tunnel vision while riding Ursaluna, I guess. Yeah, I just got tunnel vision. But, like, hopefully this isn't going, like, to a story place. I could see an Alpha living up here, though. Oh, it's an Alphonix! Oh, ho, Bobby! Oh, ho, Dally! Oh, ho, Dolly, my gal! Go look at that. I want your level. Level 50! Go, Pokemon! Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. I'll just escape into the night. I'll just escape into the night. No need to worry about me. Whoa. Utterly terrifying. Level 50. Level bloody 50. These are buildings. Okay. Unusual to see a visitor come here to the settlement. Rumor has it you galaxy team folk are making a Pokedex. I'd sure love to see it when it's done. Okay. I thought I could uh, inspect it. Sai? What do you need, lady? You're from the galaxy team, aren't you? Do you know how of a medicine that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I live together with these little ones, and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There are so many people in the Galaxy Team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Please, could you ask them for some medicine? All right, cool. Nice to know you. I wonder what these places are. Cramped, it seems. Now I will invade... I won't the invade the home of my galaxy team people. But non-galaxy team people? Sure. I just want to see if there's like any requests in here, but I think sometimes they tell you when a request is in a building. Okay, look, we found the diamond settlement. Oh, hey. What you gotta say? Pokemon moves become less likely to hit when used in foggy conditions. Of course, moves like Aerial Ace and Swift will still hit every time. So yeah, this is just like the Rai... Uh, Rhyhorn? Like Rhyhorn Plains. I will fight you and beat you up. Water pulse this time. Water pulse! Probably should have healed you, but you still did good. Get killed. And kill is good.
I'll have to see if this Eevee likes me. From the local, do your Pokemon like you, man? That's not a tree that can do things. Don't you just hate when you look at a tree and it can't do anything? Monster! So yeah, we just... Continue to find places. Somebody died over there. I guess let's kind of wander that direction. And see what might have killed them. But at the same time, what the hell's over here? Oh, hey! Rosalazas. I'll fight you and you alone. You're making a bunch of racket. Maybe if I throw mud in your face. That one's so tiny. Okay. Throw mud in your face. Go ball. Mud, go! Ah, uh, it didn't work, but maybe... At least these two want to fight. Use Aerial Ice! We'll defeat them both. Yeah, my boy! He doesn't take none of your poison powder. I tried to give you a chance. You denied me and now you die. You poor fools. At least I got grit dust. And have a new location for where those Pokemon are. Rosilias. Ah, there's a giant Rosilia. What the hell is this? Kingsley. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Let's see. Defense. Special attack. Up a bit. HP. What level are you? Level 50. Why are you not to run in at me? Get it, it's over there. Oh, it ran away. Why would I give you food? Oh, Murkrow. Could have also been because the nighttime transition was coming. And there's a giant fucking. What's angry at me? What is angry at me? Oh! Mine. Alright. Go Pokemon! That Murkrow is... Fight my Eevee, I guess. Yay, good Eevee. Agile attack. You want to take this one alive. If at all possible. You swift. Very rude. Tackle attack! 
perfect. It'll use a Zor- Oh, no, it used poison powder. If anything, this is even better. Now, we can throw a great ball right at its ugly face. Well, now you've just ascertained your death. Because now I'm annoyed at you. Double poison. <laughs> oh, dare you double poison my darling Ape. Kill! Can evolve! Can evolve! Evolve, my darling! Whoop, whoop. Woot woot. And another Murkrow. Let's take a look at what the Pokedex has for you to say. Number defeated, caught at night. Rock moves, seen it use roost. And that's the problem. I don't have any rock type moves. Where's the Growlithe type that exists in this universe? That rock fire Growlithe. Or is it just a rock growling? Oi! Get back in the ground. And then there's the Hunch Crow. Nightmare Demon. The Roserade is, seems to be gone. Care about what you think of me. <gasps> so the Wudo! I don't know why I said it like that. I just saw a Suda Wudo and I got excited. That way. Mine. Booyah! I'm getting so many new Pokemon. Stupid parasite, you won't take me alive! There doesn't seem to be anything up this mountain anyway. Ah, da -da -da. I guess if I really wanted to, I could go and try... Try and get that pack, that satchel. And while we're on our way, we can try and get that too. Charge of the mountain! Almost! We can make it! I don't know why I can sometimes charge up mountains, but I love it. Just skyrimming my way up mountains, I find hilarious. And those definitely looks like pillars. Hopefully this isn't a story important place that I'm not meant to be here yet. I'm Skyriming my way around. Shrouded ruins. Well, it's not the Brava Re. <laughs> These ruins, I think, might hold an unknown. Also, I don't think I've yet to see a Pokemon that could... Oh, hey, another Routes. I don't... Uh, what do I need to do with you? Grass-type moves. Fine. I can kill you if grass-type moves. Kill him with Magical Leaf! Give me trouble, will you? Grit dust. 
I want grit test. <laughs> Wrong bloody button. We have plenty of these, as much as it hurts me to get rid of. Grit dust. And then we can go ahead and use it. Increase your health. I want to see. What do I need to do for you? Number of small specimens caught. Number defeated. Seen use. Hypnosis. Give food. Go ahead and catch you while I'm at it. I need to catch a bunch of you anyway. Alright. I need to keep a lookout on all these pillars because... What would be good against you? Okay. Right, let's try. Sorry to bully you, Routes, but we have to do this. Shadow Ball. I hate to bully small Pokemon. Ah. Don't know you two. There's Giratina, Regigigas. Arceus, what are you? Hmm. Bit low resolution, so it's hard to tell. I think that's Giratina. That's obviously Rujigigas. Uh, Weirdeer. And then that looks like Arceus. Don't know what you are. Well, I guess that's less uh, Giratina and more Cleaver, I guess. And then I wonder what that's up there. Interesting. Definitely interesting. I mostly just want to look around for unknowns. I don't care about you. I'm looking for unknowns in this place of pillory. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, ghosty. I'm looking for num not numbers. I'm looking for letters. I'm looking for the greatest lettuce of the world. Oh. I was wondering what was making Smishy Smash. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the thing that I came out here for. Pack. Doesn't seem like there's any unknown immediately here. I could be wrong. Once again. Number of small specimens caught. I don't know. Numbers evolved. Oh, that's an interesting one. We have to evolve them lots of times. Nope, don't see any unknown in these ruins, so it must be a different ruin. I guess it's time to head back to camp. Put a ton of items away and head back. Alright. Put you away, put you away, put you away. Have just a ton of things to put away. Don't think that I found uh, the three leafed Pokemon for that one person, sadly. I've done lots, sir. I've done lots. At least it feels like it feels like I've done lots. And I caught two. I forgot that I got Porygons this time around. And I made a decent progress, I think. On things. Graveler, Lop Pony. Ah, we finished Lop Ponies. All by uh, things that we've done with it. <laughs> Hilarious. That's kind of nice that you don't actually have to 
diddly dee 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 things. Best report to Captain. Yep. Let's go to the the village. There's lots for me to do and say. I leveled up. <laughs> leveled up. Let's see anything about. No, but there is a journey inside, which makes sense because that's where the things are. <laughs> I wonder what a Starly would like. She might slowly grow to want a starly after all. Oh, hello, dude. But where could she be? There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about. The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands. My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps, you see. And she went to the Mirelands too, but she never made it back. You managed to track down all the, that Erezu woman in those Baki Mirelands, right? So could you find my sister Wanda too? Oh, anything I can go off of? You plan on using Pokemon to find her? Hmm. Would her favorite handkerchief kind of help? I do believe so. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever in the Marland she's ended up. Neat. I have leveled up, Silene. I have leveled up lots. I've caught lots of Pokemon, including a computer thing. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Halfway through the ranks. And then I think the ranks are kind of superfluous to a degree. Uh, they don't really indicate how long the game is. Wing Ball and level 65 will now obey. Have this as well. It's a recipe for Wing Balls. Iron Trick, Apricorn, and Sky Tumblestone. So basically it's... Uh, a great feather ball. Continue to dedicate yourself, or I will murder you. What is this? Are you a time traveler, sir? I think you might be a time traveler. <laughs> or maybe you come from my, uh, my world as well. Let's see. Watering with care. There's a Sudowoodo at the Bogbound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps from the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. But I think uh, watering it will actually make it angry. Hmm, you're after a medicine that can cure Psyduck's headaches. Well, you came to the right person. Take this, it's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. Dose of secret medicine. Oh, I need three. An astonishing medicine that can instantly restore health to any Pokemon. It is produced by the an apothecary in the Cyanwood City. Oh, and Cyan would. Oh, that's a good uh, uh, callback to Johto. You're from Johto? Cool. As you'll see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and they'll soon be right as rain. Even a Psyduck's headache it will clear right up, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, and we can uh, go in here. Lost and found. And points. I wonder if I can get my own back. Probably not. And because I don't have access to the internet, nobody will find my stuff. The nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region can be found here in Hisui as well. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a blushy vine. Blushy vine? I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you manage to catch it. That a Pokemon that look uh, that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off. Okay. I think that should be everyone. Doesn't seem to be any other missions. I guess let's head up and talk to the boss. How much money do I have? How much money do you want me to waste upon you? Fine. 10,000 has to be the limit. Uh, one more. Fine. 
10,000 has to be the max. Unless it can just go on infinitely and just as much money as you can make. But since we ran into a bunch of inventory problems, sure. I still have unknown to hunt down. Huh. I don't know where to go then. Wrong, I keep pressing the wrong button. At Brava Arena. I wonder where Brava Arena is. A beautiful rose. Did we complete I don't I don't think we completed Roselia. Haven't seen you. And no cherums. Let's see, Rosilia, Rosilia. We ran into Rosilia before. Level six. We need to catch her in the daylight hours. Obtain forms, evolve them. Lots of things. But quickly. Oh, the Brava Arena is all the way up there. That was kind of nearby, actually. Funny. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any, like, land bridges to get there. To this area. The place of trials. We need water. We need water! At least we came back for a good reason. We leveled up. Got some missions. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trade about some Pokemon because while it is nice to have, because I need to expand a bit my typing advantage. As much as I love Sylveon, we really need some better typings out there. I guess we could bring Sudowoodo along for rock coverage. Maybe. Maybe a Rhyhorn? Because he's ground and rock. Yeah, we'll bring a Rhyhorn along. Hmm. Let me quickly place you side by side so I can easily see. You already have a bunch of grits upon you. You, and then we'll put Lancelot away so that Morgan can level up into a Gardevoir. But da 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 Then I don't know. Porygon is a normal type. Uh, let's see. Let's take this Porygon and see what moves it can learn. Maybe I can give it the upgrade. <coughs> See what it thinks. Nothing in the daylight hours that shows an, un uh, an unknown there. Darn, I should, uh, when we go back to, for the Brave Arena, we should definitely check out and see if, uh, Diddly D. If, uh, Diamond Clan. Hmm. Vegetable harvest. Vegetable harvest. I don't want to. Let's see what vegetables you make, my dude. Yeah, let's see what Porygon and Rhyhorn can learn. And then we'll see about other kind of, like, flame attacks. Let's see. Rhyhorn. What moves can you learn? Earth Power. The user makes the ground under the target erupt with power. This may also lower the defensive stats, so that's a ground type. I should have looked and see what move you already had. Me dumb. You can also learn Ice and Steel. Rock Slide. Rock Slide, I remember doing a lot of freaking damage. Alright, and uh, Porygon. Can you even teach anything to this guy? 
Just a variety of moves. So yeah, normal types seem to be like, I can learn a bunch of things. Oh wait, and I can also... What about pseudo -wido? Ah, wait, I'm dumb. I can read here. Rock Smash? Oh, but we can't see, like, what moves they have in their pool. That's a bit blank. But we do can see what they have already equipped. So he already has Rock Smash, Bulldoze, Stealth Rock. So many moves that these m people can learn. So many. Maybe since we're getting to that point, maybe we should bring my Staraptor along. What moves can he learn? Not that many, actually. That's kind of funny. What about my shiny Ponyta? Obviously, it can learn everything. It can learn Mystical Fire. Neat. question is, who do I want? Because we could do with a fire Pokemon, maybe. We can try the first Monferno again. Maybe give you a name. Beat up. Some jerks that are getting in my way. In fact, you can learn... A rock move, which is kind of funny. And you can jab him with poison, too. Hmm. Shadow Claw on your view might just uh, increase, but hmm, increase the decrease. Might throw Thunder Punch. Aerial Ace, how can you do aerial ice. That's kind of funny. And what normal moves do you have on you? Ember, flame wheel, mock punch. So... Da -da -da. Decision, decision of like what Pokemon I want to bring. Because they have water covered with you. You're adding ground and rock, so we really do want fire something. So yeah. Guess I'll give you Thunder Punch. Maybe Poison Stab and Shadow Claw for coverage. That's a lot of my money. But come back, Monferno. You're back on the team for coverage reasons. I do want a Porygon, but it's just another normal type, and my normal type slot currently is going towards Law Punny. So we'll swap out our Porygon for now, but maybe another time we'll swap out. All right. Let's take a look at everybody's moves. Change moves. It already a dark move. That doesn't actually do attacks. Let's see. Flame 
flame wheel is better than ember, so we can get rid of ember. Shadow claw. And uh, fighting doesn't do that much, I think. <coughs> like, fighting is nice, but poison might be super nice. No, 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 no. There we go. You don't have to tell me what I selected. I already selected what I wanted. And he already has rock and uh, ground moves, even if they're not the... Uh, uh, fuck, we have to go get back for uh, rock slide for Rhyhorn. For Marion. Hmm, play rough. But it doesn't heal as well. Trying to see what moves we want. Really, Iron Tail isn't doing that much for us, so... Yeah, that seems like a good... Seems like a good. Head back to Morgan. You only have Calm Mind at it. See. Air Slash versus Aerial Ace, which is 60, 100% accuracy. This is 75. Hmm. Okay. Leaf Blade versus Magical Leaf. But it is more power points on you. And I want False Swipe. Hmm. I guess what I need to get into the habit of is coming into here and swapping before I get into a fight. Because I can pick when I get into a fight. So I guess what I'll do is I'll put Psycho Cut and move out Leaf Blade. Power! Power! And now we're going to quickly go back and use the last of our money to uh, have our boy learn Rock Slide. I am back, for I have so little money, but I must learn Rock Slide. It is very important. Unless there's another one. Nope, it's the only Rock type move. There goes all my money. I can hold one more item, and now I have type coverage. Woot woot. Alrighty. Oh wait, I should go and sell some stuff at the general store. Since I can sell for my extra. Anything here? Should also. Wonder what the shards even do. There we go. Now I got all my money back. Neat. What are you doing here? Oval stone. I still don't know what you do. And then we'll get to the camp in the Mirelands. We'll look for the lady who is missing, the sister. Uh, let's go to the Mirelands camp still. See where things are. Because we can deliver the medicine... We can drop by and see. Yeah, there really isn't much to do out here. You're completed, so I don't care much. I, I kind of like the weather effects, too. The weather effects seem nice. 
Give that for me, will ya? I don't care about you. I'm not scared of you. Give that for me. Where's the... Want! 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 Ah, ten iron chunks. Nice. I forgot. Well, bogbound camp, so I can still. Gone astray in the Mirelands. Doesn't seem. Maybe now will you phone in on him? Maybe we need to be closer to where they actually are. We'll head by the ruins just to triple check. Hey. Any Rosalia that we can do things for? Completely sidestep all the bastarding crow gunks. I forgot to make things at the place again. This happens. No, there are Bidu and a routes. We already completed the route, so. You do evolve into... When did we run in? Oh yeah, we fought a Gibble, didn't we? Yeah, it don't really matter. Ah, well, let's see. Ah, we found him. Unintentionally. Maybe. Ah, there you are, lady. We found you super easily. A uh, person! Another real-life human being! Oh, thank goodness! I was on my way back to the base camp when I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running. And, um, please, can you tell me how to get back home? That way? I see. Thank you so much. That is not... That... Oh, uh, I see. You just have terrible... I, I mean, this way, right? So this is Ash Ketchum's ancestor. Obviously. All right, nice to see that. For a moment, I thought that leaf was a Pokemon. It was just coming from the sky. Watering with care, I guess we'll note that. Away! What do we need to do with you? Uh, see it use poison powder, defeat it with psychic type move, and... Uh, all right. Fight! Uh, let's play it safe. They don't know if it would have run or not. Two unreported. We just need to find more past the diamond camp. And then we can catch some during daylight hours and uh, maybe beat up some more. With psychic type moves. So yeah, catching psychic type moves for the win. And uh, pillars. There are pillars here? I have not. I guess it does make sense. I, I don't think I, like, I think I passively noted them, but didn't give them much thought thought. It's only now that I'm looking for frickin' was it? I'm looking for the 
bibbity bop bob bob da unknown that I'm really noticing things. Wait, Yanma. Have we done much for Yanma? I don't think so. Only two. We have, uh, we need caught without being spotted and defeat them. Defeat with a rock type move. Let's beat you with a rock type move. Yeah, I did equip it for you, did I? I don't think I did. I didn't, because I'm an idiot. And we'll send in Marion and punch you. I'm very dumb. I did the thing again where I bought the move and I didn't put on the move. Let's gain some advantage on Agile. Because if we're not able to do Super Duper. Let's at least try. Alright. Go, Great Ball. Oh, yeah. Might as well. And before I mess up again. Actually give you goddamn rock slide. Idiot. Idiot me. And let's go ahead. Ooh. <coughs> let's go ahead and raise your special attack a bit. Oh yeah, I was going to heal. Me dumb. Me super dumb. And remember to stay hydrated. While you're in the bog, trying to be like, actually manage your Pokemon moves so you can fill out the Pokedex. Who's even coming up with these Pokedex-specific tasks, anyway? I'm the one that's doing it. Well, at least it's not very smart. Now we can rock slide it to death. Kill! Hello indeed, Purple Fire Kitty. How are you doing? I know it's trying to do Pokedex things, a bit of side deedlies. Uh, requests, that's what they're called. My brain is just like, they're side quests, when the official name is, of course, I'm going to have to run by you. Don't mind me, Alpha. Don't mind me at all. Please don't kill me. I would rather to not die. Alright. Hello, my dude. You have a pseudo widow that you don't want to that you want to help, do you? I've been waiting for you, kiddo. Let's get down to business. Have a look at that pseudo widow. It's just standing standing there menacingly. It was looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. <laughs> but even though it gobbled them up, it still seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? It could just be that it stands still a lot. So then I figured it must be parched, after all. It's like a plant, right? It must want to be watered. No, it's a rock type, but we don't know that yet because this is the past. So if we could f just fire off a healthy water pulse at it. A healthy water pulse! Well, I guess you'd think, oh, it is a, it, it's an attack, you know. Good night, uh, Lurk, to work on frame pieces for an animation. Might not, night. <laughs> Alrighty then, indeed. But, oh, uh, actually, Water Pulse will hurt it because it's a rock type. Bring me a Pokemon that can use Water Pulse. Okay, I have a lot honey that can do it. You can have my wish. That's not wish cash. Well, this this one. He's a fish. It's flying. All right, get ready, Sudo Widow. All your worries are about to be banished for good. I guess we're doing this. 
It's a rock type. It's a rock type. Wudo! <laughs> Wudo? No do. Well, this uh, worked out all that well. Rock type versus rock type. Oh, I guess. Smash it with rock smash! Smack that, smash that tree rock! And the defensive stance is lowered. And now it's raising its defense. Good for you. Normal bulldoze. I already have a pseudo widow. So I don't care. You have a Kasoon mat. Yes, I do. It came from the mystery gift. Maybe it doesn't like getting wet. Is that it? Gosh, I guess I rained on your parade. Sorry, pseudo widow. So soon. And I'm sorry for making you a part of this, too. I thought I was helping it, but wait, when you get right down to it, I just didn't understand Sudo Wudo. Keep working hard on that Pokedex to educate poor fools like me, would you? Yes. We must educate the poor fools of the world. We'll go ahead and rest, cr make some more things, and then probably head to the Diamond Camp. That's so cute. It is indeed. Both the mask and Sudo Wudo. Sudo Wudo in this game is actually cute. I love it. Let's see. Definitely need more... Great bowls. I can even make... Improvement on the original Feather Ball design. A ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly fast in the air. I guess I'll go ahead and... Make as many of that as I can, because it will just be nice. And then... Doo -doo -doo, a few more classic Pokemons. Well, actually... I should use more of the normal normal. Some new potions. And... We should be able to head out. I love the Pokeballs design. Yes, the the designs in this game. Just, that's one thing. A lot of people might have some problems with the graphics, but, like, the actual designs of things are very good. The designs of the things in this game really, really work. Just have to maneuver around all the skunk tanks. Oh, hey. A dude. Hello, dude. I've been attacked! Hello, dude. I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that mass outbreak was a different color than the others. Yep, that's called shiny. We already discovered that phenomena. Twice for me! If I really wanted to, I could probably try to capture that onyx again if it's up there. It's up there. Need to be careful. Dang it, it's on me. Time to retreat. Because it's level 50, and I don't think I have anything that's that good against an alpha level 50. Nope. Alpha level 50, way beyond me. Well, it forgot me, but it's still staring at the entrance. Kind of moving back again. Because if I can distract it with a berry, I might be able... Okay, it is very angry. Go, Barry! Crap. 
No back strike for me. Go Pokeball. Poorly aimed Pokeball. I completely missed. Pokeball. See if you can catch it. Probably not. It's a level 50 alpha. Ah, I got it. Neat. Now I have an onyx if I want. That definitely makes up for the time I accidentally killed the al the the onyx that I wanted to catch. So we can come over here, give the Psyduck lady potion that she wants. I have the medicine. It's all the way from Cyanwood. She found a cure for my Psyduck. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> wow, the Psyduck looked all better already. What a relief. Thank you for finding... Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the soft, uh, sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. And what did you call this stuff again? Secret medicine? Gosh, the galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilee sometime. Woot woot. And Max Revive. Extra nice. Alright. Now if we can head over this way, we might find some more Rosalias. That I should be able to complete their Pokedex entry and do that request. Let's see. Rosalia should be down. That should be actually up. Rosalia. We need to catch more in daylight hours and beat them with psychic type attacks. Love the music of this game. Sometimes it kind of passes over me and I don't really take note, but when it hits, it hits, and that is an angry Rhyhorn. Need to look for Rosalia. Now to play America's favorite pastime. Is that a Rosalia or a Peppa plant? Best game show in America. Yes, yes, yes. You're very angry and a piss pot. Get out of here. Don't make me throw mud in your face. Oh. You're super easy to catch. Catching daylight hours. Yay. Let's see. Then if we catch again in daylight hours, well, actually, we should try and make it easy. It'll be nice and satiated. Perfect to capture. That plus back strike equals happy plant. But this one, this one we're going to annihilate with a psychic attack. Actually, this might be perfect for... Go! Lancelot! Or no, Morgan. One of them. Oh, better not risk it. Normal confusion. Ah, Frogstar would have gotten rid of you. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're stunned. By the way, confusion again. Whoops, whoops. <gasps> my boy can evolve! My boy can evolve, my boy can evolve, my boy can evolve, my boy can evolve! Robin evolve! Robin evolve! Let us see. I don't think I've seen it, so let's see. 
Yay! I love the color palette! Into a Decidui. The regional variant. Decidui. Awesome. I got an idea for... Ooh! Aura Sphere and Triple Arrows. Ooh. These are... De hmm. I might have to put some of these in. Definitely Aura Sphere. Because... Yes. I'm just a fan of Aura. I can't wait to get a Rialu on the team. I forget. I think that one's level 50, so I'm scared of it. Let's see. Five? So we don't need to do you anymore. At least, uh, unless I want to go super hard. Let's head on and do the story. Because the story is important. Well, let's see how big my dude is now. You're big. <gasps> I got a thunderstone! I got a thunderstone! Yay! I really should get more Eevees and uh, see if I can evolve them. But, huh? up we go. Adamum, time has come. We beat, beat them up. Beat up time. So you've come. I take it it means you're ready? Of course. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even if in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. It's nice to see the Diamond and Pearl clans working together. All it took was one of my polituses to get Erezu's leg all patched up. Erezu's. Calibur, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Erezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew. It caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge Lilligant is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch uh, her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. And that's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. And that's when you can bring out your own Pokémon and prove your might. Don't let us down! This might be the time for my Decidueye to absolutely wreck house. But what? I know I've heard Lilligant before, but I wonder what Lilligant actually looks like, because uh, it'll ring a bell, or else, or I'll be <laughs> super for do. So let's see. Huh. I've heard Lilligant before, but I've never seen you before. You are new. At least to me. And time for you to try and murder me. Lady of the Lidge, Lidge, Ridge, Lilligant. Dodging Pokemon attacks. Yeah, we already know that. Decidueye, go! Here's your chance. Show Lilligan your power. How dare you hit my Decidueye. Alright. You can get two off and do a strong style after. Oh, or you can just annihilate her. Lol. 
Take this. Take this. Sleeper was nicer than you. This is getting Dark Souls. This is getting very Dark Souls. So she's gonna do that move again. Oh yeah. This is the Dark Soulsiest Pokemon fight I've ever freaking seen. Final before she gets ready to go super. Decidui, go! I hate that you kind of go first every time, but at least it gives me a chance to heal my Pokemon. Strong Sires, don't give her an inch. My boy! Booyah! You are very different than Cleaver. With Cleaver, it was beat him up and then throw and uh, wait for your chance to dodge, but at the same time you can still throw a lot. With this one, it was definitely throw as much as possible. <laughs> but yay, we saved Lilligant. Never seen you before. And then I got the Meadow Plate from Lilligant. Meadow Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the grass type. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Erezu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna, now Lilligant. You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. <laughs> she's cute, I forget what evolution line she's a part of. Lil. Hereizu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Celosian ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one. Huh. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Erezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calabra wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Erezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me, okay? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myelin safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Neon. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. 
Listen, you know me, I'm Adamon, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Suno, the ruler of time. Time is all about change. We can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Neon. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What team are you a part of? Team Galactic, technically, because in this universe timeline, Dibbity D, the Galactic Foundation is new to the Hisui region and is trying to broker peace for everyone and learn to live alongside Pokemon. What happened, Lilligant? How did kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? No, it's not like I'm perfect. I had things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm really sorry about that. It's so weird actually seeing Pokemon that, like, stand shoulder to shoulder with people. Is that a giant Zubat or is, my, is it just the, me being terrible at... Hmm, do we need anything for you? No, you're completed. Honeycomb, you're not completed. What do we need for you? Defeat with Rock-type move. Alright, let's defeat with a Rock-type move. You're in danger, little boy! Rock slide. But yeah. I still think that something fishy is going on. Because the Galac Team Galactic... Hmm. Or maybe I don't know. There's just something going on with the worship of the almighty Sinnoh and them thinking that Sinnoh is, like, because we're Pokemon players, we know, like, the existence of Palkia and Dialga. I still want there to be a frickin' Platinum Clan. Where's my Platinum Clan? Worship the almighty Giratina. Rickatoon. What do we need for you? Ah, you're already completed, so I don't really care. Let's venture further. No, I want to zoom in on you. Uh, you're already completed, so I don't need to do much. Is this deep water? It looks like deep water. Alright, alright. That doesn't seem much else to do here, because we can't swim all that much. And Shrouded Runes is kind of crazy. I guess we could try and go... Could we? Could we go past? Could we try? We could try. Let's go down to the Gape Job Bog and see if we can make down there. Uh, I forget what they do. Team Galactic in Pokemon... Uh, Platinum and uh, Pearl and all that defeated with Rock type. But yeah. Team Galactic basically wanted to unmake reality. Team Galactic basically wanted to take the power of Dialga and Palkia and remake reality into a form they approve of, basically. So it's real weird that the Galactic Foundation are the good guys here. And Jesus Christ, Murkrow really wants is, it has it out for me. I guess I'm gonna have to throw mud in your face. One of you will have to stay behind and fight. Why are you all trying to attack me, but when face of a Rhyhorn, you're like, eh, jerks. So it'll be very interesting, because, like, right now... Oh, where are you, the attack, jerk? Luckily, you didn't do anything. Because the one thing we don't know is why the Galactic Foundation is good right now, and later becomes led by Cyrus. 
Okay, there's a giant gold bat. I think like a lot of giant gold bats. Oh, my hunch crow wants my giblets. But the one thing that makes me a bit suspicious is the fact that we fell through a time-space portal. So, personally, I think that, uh... Oh, not Team Galactic, the Pokémon that Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, Palkia and Girat uh, Palkia, Giratina, and Dialga. The Pokémon Dragons of Time, Space, and the Reverse World. And there's supposedly one of the direct descendants of Arceus, which kind of makes sense why Arceus is tied into this game. Well, you know, Legends Arceus, hibbity dibbity. Is because. Probably because. Personally, I think it's because in this game, something funky is going on. There's something funky is really going on. And I want to. Uh, I want the truth, and nothing but the truth. It'll just be very interesting to see how things play out. Because there's just so many different ways things could go. Are we from the future? We actually don't know, because we fell through a time-space portal in the sky over Mount Coronet. I think. That. We fell through that, apparently. And, uh, it has been referred to as a time-space portal, or time-space something-something. And, uh, we did have a phone, and Arceus godified our phone, which is nice. God upgrade. So, we did dee dee dee. We need to head in. Over the mountains we go. We need to do do do. So, and yeah, we just spoke to God, Arceus. He was just like, yeah, discover all the Pokemon, come find me. And do uh, do 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 do. Essentially. Oh. I thought it was like, was that a giant rose right? No, it's a ghastly. Don't really care right now, much for ghastly. Let's see. Oh, we already completed you to an acceptable, de acceptable degree. But yeah, personally, my going theory is that Team Galactic succeeded in creating an alternate universe. Hmm. Booyah! Okay. I'm totally going to the field lands and going to do that for that. And then I need to find where Arezu was. <gasps> oh yeah, that giant peach Arezu. I saw you. From above. What level are you? Level 40. Hmm. But I can also... Feed your hunger. Come with me! <laughs> I love not having to fight the Pokemon. But about. Yeah, I think there's something weird going on in this world. Let's see. Caught while sleeping. Hmm. Number defeated, uh, giving it food, seen leap out of trees. Hmm. I'll feed you and catch you too. Level up the decidui by catching Pokemon <gasps> for catching Pokemon. Get you soon. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why this is so cool. Funnily enough, I think the game throwing out there, hey, this is actually an isekai, you're from the future, maybe even a Pokemon world. 
Arceus sends you here. What's going on? The fact that this isn't, this could very well be the distant past of Hisui, or it could be an alternate universe created by Palkia, Dialga, and Giratina under the control of uh, Team Galactic from the main line. We actually don't know exactly where we are. Especially because there are certain, like, uh, minor uh, inconsistencies. Like, uh, oh, creating Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs through Apricorns was supposed to be a thing like Kurt or whoever invented. Ooh, is that a giant route? Hmm, what do we need for more of you? Caught without being spotted, number of small, defeat, uh, huh, giving it food. I don't know. I want to see what's in the water. You. Defeated. Caught without being spotted. Defeated of grass type. Hmm. Ah, it saw me. Let's see. No, not you. Then let's beat you with a grass type move. Leaf Blade! Yeah, it'd just be, like, super interesting to see exactly where everything goes. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. Uh, I think the Alpha Ralts disappeared. I could have sworn there was an Alpha Ralts over here. But I guess my battle must have scared it off. If I could catch that without being seen, that would be divine. Perfect the mundo. Oi! It didn't see me, I don't think. Maybe it'll count. Nah, it didn't look like it. It was at peak. Yes, I accept you. And then it decided to spit in my face because it is a bastard. I guess we can use these. <laughs> One away. Sure. Ah, Master of its moves. Woot woot. Oh, and grit. Let's see. Let's raise your da, da, special attack so you can beat up people. Ooh, like a water stone. I need to go back to the field and capture so many Eevees. So many Eevees. But I'll probably do... Actually, that might be a thing since uh, we've explored decently. Decently, decently explored over here. And I don't think there's much exploring unless we want to go over there, but... I think I'll call the exploration, turn in some missions, and then I'm going to go fully explore to as much degree as I possibly can. Oh, Volo. You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into a sp the space-time rift. Quailed another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that free frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Pen pals? I want to... I swear that guy's like a trickster. He feels like a trickster to me. I swear that on some level he's a trickster. Oh, and I got two alphas. I forgot. Yay, lots of money. Loads of money! Ah, we completed you, probably because we leveled you up and used moves. And we completed Pachirisu already! Huzzah! But I will... Oh yeah, I need to... <laughs> Volo's sketchy. Now, I don't think he's sketchy. 
personally, oh, uh, smashing, let's head back to the village then. The commander will want to see a report. I wanted to turn in the diddly for the lady that wants to see Rosalia's pocket next bitch. Ah. But Volo definitely has a trickster vibe to him, but like a good trickster vibe to him. I feel like he's a good guy, but kind of weird. Hello. You're going to apologize? Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat at such a masterful mochi when you come to for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. See anything around town? You have anything special? Smoke bomb set. Sure, I have the money for it. Great choice. It's all yours. Didn't care about his raspberry set from before. These are all berries and medicinal plants, so they don't really care. I'll go ahead and sell the extra things I don't care about to you. I think I have some syllables of like that. Max Revive, I want to keep. I just want to know so many things. So many interesting things that are going on in this world. I also need to find the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen when I find all the unknown. I found your sister. Are you happy? Wanda made it back home safely. Boy, am I ever glad I asked you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. Wanda is still new to the security corps, you understand, and she's a bit flighty at the best of times, so I can't help but worry about her. If it's not much to ask, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, stop it, Zeke. You're embarrassing me. I just got unlucky this time. That's all it was. That's what you would have me believe, but ever since we were kids, the instant I took my eyes off you, you'd be lost somewhere in the bushes. I know. This is actually Zoro's ancestor. This world will become the world of One Piece. Well, anyway, Neon, I do appreciate your help, so thanks for me, too. And I got Stardust. More Stardust to sell. And a new thing. Maybe the Pachirisu? Yep, battling with Pachirisu. Rin, Ren from the Security Corps is trying to think of battle strategies to use with his Pachirisu. Talk to the chap and see what he needs. Ah, that must be the guy that took a picture of the Pachirisu at the... Well, the picture place. Man, personally, I think Volo is a good guy. He's he's too kind of sketchy to not be good, you know? Kamado, I did the thing. So you successfully calmed the Lilligant. Excellent. There may well be times when Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves. Free from war and strife. You know, that's interesting. Free from war and strife. That kind of thing. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But that kind of leads me to go further into the, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe this is a world created by Galaxy Team. And this is kind of them wanting to get away from <laughs> war and strife and stuff. I don't know. Weird things. He's like, it's so weird that I want the answers. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond a pew. That's another thing. The, the Diamond and Pearl clans both believe that the real Sinnoh comes from beyond the space-time rift. And that uh, the Diamond Clan believe that the Lord Sinnoh is a god of time, whereas the Pearl Clan think it's a god of space. They mix... Uh, they think Dialga and Palkia are called Sinnoh and basically fill the role of Arceus. It was so interesting. There you go, piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. 
Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for us anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or the uh, carving out a life here? Oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Neon, and ought to scatter these gloomy thoughts. For scatterbangs! I wonder what that is. Castor and fern leaf and pop pod. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find out your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. The next day. The next day I unlock a new area. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. And the hairdresser has nothing to say. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Neon. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir. Er, so the whole Ursaluna situation. If you're here to work in Jubilee Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Aresu. His fists are balled up. He's so angry at all times. And you, Neon, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Oh, that... What? Noise. New people arrived? From the boat? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokémon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokémon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Neon here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Actually, my name's Kamado. The advancement of our understanding of Pokémon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can safely operate. And that is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Neon, you truly do love Pokémon, don't you? I do. <laughs> Who would say not really? How dare? Uh, Pokémon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Excuse me, boss. Irida from the Pearl Clan's here. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Neon, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Sure thing, sir. A new mission is available at Kamado's office. All right, a bunch of new missions available. 
whoop de doo I wish I could ride my weird ear here, but I can. Also wish that I could take my decidue. Hello, decidue. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. Can't believe I had to give him an Alpha Buzil just to complete his quest. Oh, a normal heavy type Buzil was one inch away. Hello there, dude. What a tale. Ah, uh, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it. We have not but its tail poking out. But it was a tale I'd give anything to see again. Think you could catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it and I'll give you a nice reward. Probably talking about a spoink, but let me see. Do I have it with me? Currently like a spring, so I don't think so. We'll have to actually look for it ourselves. That sounds like a spoink. Swirly like a spring. About the size of Bidu. Just a bit more till harvest time. Nice to see you again, Mr. Vecor. You got great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. If you'd lend us one of your Pokemon that knows a water type move, we'd be mighty grateful. Sure thing, dude. I have some Buzil you can have. Let's see. You can have a... No, you're not having Jet. Jet's mine. Here's a Buzil you can have. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help in the expand of the fields. Might as well get started. Wowie! Your Pokemon's an irrigation sensation. Now I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. Man, I'm all done. That was some fine work. Any crops with plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll try to keep your Pokemon here to help out the field work a while longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon of yours to do the watering. And then move back around to the normal village. Well. New request and from you. Nope, and the building here. Knock, knock. I sensed there was a request, and you have an EV. VV. Why, if it isn't one of the youngins from the Survey Corps, good thing you dropped by. I need some help making friends with this EV. Think you could lend a hand? Canala, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. <coughs> After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win the Eevee over is the old-fashioned way, through tasty treats. So I'll be whipping up a special snack from my hometown. Some of the ingredients for it don't grow here in Hisui, but I found local berries and things that'll make good enough substitutes. Three stalks of hardy grains, two hopo berry. Hoppo berries, and one raspberry is what I need. I'm counting on you. I should have all those. Three stocks? Yes, they're all here. Are you happy to give these to me? Sure, my dude. Make friends with that Eevee. Evolve it into one of Sylveon. That'll be hilarious. Wonderful. These ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll be cooking, so wait here a while, would you? Oh, 
Okay, they're all done. Let's have a taste before giving one to Evie, shall we? Hometown Muffin. Hometown Muffin, a baked treat made from berries and other ingredients, which is often eaten in regions such as Galar. It is a beloved by a surprising number of Pokemon. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess the taste is fine, but it's just not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having these nice, delicate flavor to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went through to gather the ingredients for us, but I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Evie's good books. V! Oh, what's the matter, Evie? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. V! P! V is happy! You like it that much? <laughs> That's great! I'm so glad! Hmm, you want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks will give you a bellyache. E? Oh, now who could resist that cute little face? It used baby doll eyes! <laughs> Thanks to you, it seems Evie and I will get on just fine. More than fine, even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, they're not quite the same as the ones from my hometown, so how about we call them Jubilee Muffins instead? I think I know just what to do to make them even tastier for my darling Evie, too. I've jotted down my ideas, so here, you should try making some yourself. A recipe for crafting Jubilee muffins. Woot woot! And experience candies. The five were sent to my storage because my satchel is too full. Too full. All right, that was completed. Then just uh, General Store, Clothier, and uh, the Photoshop. Not run by Adobe, but a person with an actual heart. That Tauhua. Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tauhua is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring free pop pods as token of goodwill. Perhaps after this, he'll actually accept me. I don't have any pop pods. What do you require? Is that a new building? Oh, it's the pickle lady! There's a Pokemon I think would be perfect inspiration for some new designs. It's a species called Shellos, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives, with different coloring, too. If you could just compare its different forms, I'm, if I could just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. Could you show me Shellus' different forms? One can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and the other out in Cobalt Coastlands. Just what kind of Pokemon is this almighty Sinnoh, I wonder? So I guess you have, uh, you're not open for business just yet. Why do you have, uh... Why are you blocking your opening? <laughs> you can't get into your own store. Thanks again for lending me a hand with getting that photo of Bunnery last time, Recruit. Everyone in the village sure loved it. I was hoping I might get your help on another little task. In fact, would you take a look at this? Oh, Duskox. And it's at a place where a, an unknown should be, too. Rather eerie, wouldn't you say? That thing was so close, and yet I have no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say with any certainty whether it's a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognize that thing in the photos of some Pokemon that truly exists out there in the wild, I'd like to see it. I'd sure love your help on this. Sure thing, my dude. All right, but there's one thing I need to see. I hit the wrong button again. Uh, let's see. D -d -d -d. Battle of Petrisu. Where's the dude? Ah, he's in the building anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to put away stuff. Into the storage unit. You all go. Move all at once. Move all at once. Move all at once. Everything will move. Everything must go. Move all at once. Move all at once. 
So many plants and so many stones. So many berries that I'm never going to use. I need to get more Eevees so I can evolve them. Evolve them into all the types of Pokemon. Uh, I guess we should keep you because you're a full revive. And uh, I'll go ahead and sell you. We need pop pods, which are probably going to be found in the cobalt. Through my power, I shall make this town the greatest town. All right, bag man. I've got more money and I'm fine. I'll pay your 10,000 fee. Is that all? Do you, can, do you go even further? He even goes further beyond. Madman. I really need to look for more star diddlies. Krogunk's curative poison. It seems that Purcell, the captain of the medical corps, intends to make some medicine using Krogunk's poison. Find out what she, help she needs. Ah, you hear from my request about Krogunk? A member of the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison. Medicine made from Krogunk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck, the poor gentleman's bedridden, from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on Krogunk poison. Head to the Crimson Marlins and catch a Krogunk for me, will ya? I already have two. I don't really care about Krogunk, so you can have any of them. So this is Krogunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? I need a smidgen of a poison, please, Krogunk. Would you be so kind? Grunk. Thanks very much. Now to whip up the medicine. And this might get the guy to want to use Pokemon in construction more. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. Krog got, Krogunk got that joke. Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people in Pokemon if we set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. Nurse Joy's ancestor, everybody. I knew it. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the survey score work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. So, my poor back, it's screaming. One moment, I've got a medicine that ought to be a great help. It looks like we'll have Buck up on his feet again in no time, thanks to you and Krogunk. I got even got full heal. Hmm, battling Pechirisu. Let's check the downstairs just to be safe. Gather rare materials from far-flung places. You'll be able to craft all sorts of items. I heard that in some far-off regions, people challenge each other to battles using the Pokemon they've caught. I mean, that happened on my first day here. It's not that surprising. You should try experimenting with different items. From Imagine cake lures work a treat. I've just been using berries. Because I'm a basic bitch. I'm a super basic. I'm almost how to basic. Where's the Pachirisu battler man? I guess Pokemon must get friendly with people because they really want to. If they didn't, they'd probably just escape into the pastures and run. Pokemon dope if I work. Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, you're the person that was saying we shouldn't do it. I thought the Pachiriso battler guy would be down here. Oh, wait. No, it wants me to leave. Uh, I guess the Pachiriso battler man is out in a different place. Pachiriso battler man is over here. Ah. Understandable. 
Hello, Mario LC. How are you? Right now, we are doing more Pokemon Legends Arceus because it is just has a grasp upon my soul. I absolutely adore this bloody game. It's fantastic. Kamado, I'm here for my mission. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. He's gonna turn into a ghost. He turned into a ghost. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the Security Corps and Supply Corps. It seems some of the members were attacked by a ghost while gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally I'd entrust this to our Warden and the Coastlands, but her situation is... complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Yes, sir, sir. <laughs> Too much suffering. I finished Zora's Domain in Death Mountain after three hours. Yeah. I still admire your attempts to just go very hard on the very hard difficulty. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I... I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Neon. Think nothing of it. Neon is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she'll get to sort things out. Indeed. Neon quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. What? What's going on? I think uh, this is a graphical glitch. Oh, no. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. There we go. I think we were seeing the close-up of her paper. With the current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission? Investigate Firespit Island. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated. Also, I figured out what happens when you die as a divine beast. It's very cool. Guess what it is? You get a game over. Or is there actually a cutscene that plays? That would be interesting. But at the same time, I doubt. It's probably just a simple... Oh no! Game over. Hmm, but we... Yeah, <laughs> that building isn't even on the map yet. That's amusing. Buildings on my map? No. Let's see. Let's take a look at my Pokemon team. Is there anyone that I want to swap in? I mean, I have a frickin' Onyx. Not sure if I want a Pachirisu. I mean, I do have a giant patch reason now. Oh, nothing happens. Epic. The champion says a line text, and then you lose. The explosive barrels they throw do so much damage. I can only imagine. If I wanted, I could throw out. Hmm. Actually, I almost want to use you, but I'm not sure if you'd follow my orders. That's the downside of being able to catch giant Pokemon. Up to level 65 will obey. Yeah, but at the same time, it would feel kind of like cheating since I only have... I should use... I want to use the Pokemon that I'm raising. That I'm raising. I could go teach Fire Punch to Marion. I don't want to do that. Teach Fire Punch to Marion. I kind of want to swap in you. Because you also are the normal type. You can learn things. 
ba 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 ba. I'll keep my team the way it is for now. I need to basically start forming teams within the box. Oh, who's gonna be here? Ray, you wanna fight? Ah, if it isn't Neon. Hello, small cowboy prospector man. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Next, uh, Fire Spit Island. Oh, Fire Spit Island. Perhaps you'll run into our Polina. She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing during dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. But I thought you're part of the Pearl Clan, and you care about space more than time. Some Pokémon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokémon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokémon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help the grind this into you, this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Thank you, my dude. Hey, Grip Pebbles! Woo! A mysterious pebble that can raise the effort level for one of a Pokemon's stats. It can be used only if the effort level is at least level 6 and no greater than level 8. And three sacks of Grit Gravel. And you should want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve. I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Well, let's go talk to the Ginkgo Guild. POV, your character all level 2022, but die very fast. Considering you're playing on very hard, probably. That's probably true. Hello, Ginkgo Guild, do you have new things for me? Well, you do have some new things. I think. There's a, a pin app. Pen up, pen up, pen up, pen up, pen up, pen up, pen ash. <laughs> ah, and full heals. Oh boy, full heal. The fullest of heal. <gasps> you can mark them for sale. Oh! Then why can't I do that when I'm moving things? Sadness. Oh, let's see what uh, Decidui can learn. My love, my, my starter is super powerful. Teach new moves to my decidui. Mm, doesn't seem anything. Energy ball. Spikes. Yeah, I can't learn too, 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 too much. I already got, got what I want. Uh, let's see. Probably should get fire punch, thunder punch. Yeah, the two punches should probably do good, all things considered. You'll become my elemental all-rounder. So I can change things to you. We try to fight a certain Pokemon. And I could do the same to you, actually. Teach you Magical Leaf, Fire, Thunder, Ice, Charge Beam, Icy Wind. There's so many things you can learn. My Morgan could become an all-rounder as well. Well, let's see. Fire, Thunder... Let's see, Charge Beam is 50, while Thunder is 75. And it, Thunder Punch has better accuracy and better power, and only has five less power points. Shower, Shadow Ball. Maybe Icy Wind. Mm, 
Magical Leaf, and Icy Wind. For Morgan. Morgan! Morgan, 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 Morgan! And let's go back to you and see what my Porygons can learn. Oh, but yep, now that we're done, we're going to... Well, I guess first see if there's anything that needs to be thrown into the... The box. Ah, there we go. That's how I move things in totality. And let's uh, use the experience candy. Just move it all up to a castle. Level my Rhyhorn up a bit. And I'll actually want to go to the normal field lands. Both to look for Eevees and because now that I have a Rhyhorn that can smash things, I can go to that cave, go to the waterfall and stuff, and just do a bunch of things. So first we're going to travel about... Found an item. He gladly searches for. Oh. oh, maybe we can even go after the. Uh, probably not, because I think it was. Oh, was it level? Hmm. Where is it? Yes, yeah, it's further down than this one. and level up Pokemon. Actually, speaking of that, let's uh, move you up there so that I can swap between Curlia and Rhyhorn to pick up items for me. Oh, I must have got hit by the returning Rhyhorn. I might as well see... If we can pick up the giant Rapidash. Oh, I need to be super careful. So I think I might be able to bring him down. Maybe. Lop Honey will probably be the best, because I think it should be level 40. I might not even have to get into combat with it. It depends. Level, level, level. Level 40, so if I need to fight it, I can. I need it to come closer, and then I'll distract it with a berry. Hmm. It's getting super far away. I want to ease it with a berry. And then get a back strike with a great ball. And then this place will be hopefully full and free for normal Pokemon to start spawning in. Now you have to actually throw it pretty darn close. He's very angry. All right, new plan. Hopefully, I won't be suspicious of berries. And 
Instead, I'll send out Lop Honey to backstrike it. Oh, it's angry. Go, Lop Honey! Smack it up! My chances at peaceful resolution are over. Well, that's not nice at all. Alright, water pulse! Oh, wow. Oh, no. That might kill. It did kill. Oh, dear. Uh, Monferno, you go out there. Uh, Thunder Punch? Yay, might be able to un unable to move. I'll go ahead and use a revive on my poor dude, Marion. Paralyzed and can't move. Now's the time. Great ball, go! Capture the paralyzed Rapidash Giant. Imagine if I could ride that into battle. Huzzah! Woot woot. And new Pokemon caught. Number of alpha specimens caught. Woot woot. Right, Kalia. Now we now we can go forth and uh, look for Eevees. Now that we finally did that, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll head over to the giant Luxio. Yeah, I think it was Luxio. Let's see if we can catch that as well as an Alpha specimen. Because I think it was of a similar level. Sometimes it's hard to tell. <laughs> Time to play America's favorite ball game. Eevee or Bidoof. That might kill. 9,999 damage. Sometimes that's what it feels like when fighting giant Pokemon, yeah. Alright, well, at least we got one more Eevee, which means one more evolution on the board. I think I might make it an Espeon. Hunt, hunt, hunt down the magics. Dig up the stuff. Springy mushrooms. Ah, that thing I don't really care about. Can we even go up there? I don't think we can. You'll leave me on a wild goose chase, my boy. Jump. It's a jump. Grab that for me, will you? That's way too far. Luckily, the Rapidash respect, well, not Rapidash, Ponita. They respect my gorgeous specimen. The optimal way of gathering resources. I don't want to fight you, I want the leak. You shall die for getting in the way of my leak. Die, Pidu. <laughs> oh, hit myself. We shall mutually be punished for this. And if 
I really wanted to, I could maybe try, well, we'll just go do the Luxio, and then head to the cave. And maybe check out the garden, because there might be an unknown there? I might have to check my unknown wonders and see my unknown ponderings. And I guess we can also go and grab that satchel while we're at it. With ground type moves. Perfect. Destroy him. You want to battle, you little munchkin? Ground type. Bulldoze. Once again. Try at hand at peaceful negotiation. To have it join the team respectively. Join the team! Ah, it actually did join the team nicely. There should be Pichu's over here as well. Let's see. No, I don't think this might be the place. I mean, it could have been. The Cocoon, Pokemon, Beautifly, and Duskbox. Let's see. What do we need to kill you with? Flying type moves. Time for murder. Deciduite. Kill. You will not see. Destroy them! <laughs> Always got a foe. And two others. Neat. And, uh... See if we can fall into a beautiful light of murder. What do we need from you? Uh, catch defeat with rock type. That's right. Fight me. I've got rock tech moves to murder you with. Engage in your doom, Rock Slime. Fight me, we've got more to do. Absolute murder for you. That won't save you! Rock Slime. Anything else? Uh, defeat another, and maybe give it a chance to do things. Come on, use something other than tackle, won't ya? I'll even use bulldoze, so it won't do anything. You are determined to not let me progress much, Charlie. you? Fine, frog slide, kill it. We'll just have to fight uh, Beautifly in the future with something other than that. Yeah, so doesn't seem to be any unknowns here. But, hmm, maybe. Oh, hey, Beautifly, I can beat you up with another rock slide. Now again, I'll give you a chance. 
Iron defense tackle. Iron defense tackle. Here's a die iron for your defense. The wrong rocks, right? Die. Alright, that should do well and nice enough. Now we'll go down. See. We'll head down there, check out the Pokemon that we can get, run into, get the the satchel, maybe even see if the Come on, maybe it's night time, maybe if we get up here. Yes. Maybe. Woot woot. Now, it depends if uh, the area goes all the way across. Probably doesn't. I love kind of shenanigating, sky rimming my way. I need to be able to climb or... Let's see. Well, I guess we could just run past him and come back later. Good boy, Snorlax! Because the Pokemon over here are a bit higher level. I haven't even caught one here. Uh, let's try Morgan. I forgot to look at your level. Oh, that's not good at all. Double not good. Brain kissing. That's not good at all. If you survive, we'll swap you out. Morgan survived. Yes. Time to swap out. Alright. Go out, me. Alright. Dark Pulse. Try not to kill. Alright. Let's try and capture it. Great ball. Go! I love the dynamicness of the battles. That you can actually stand on cliffs and walk around the battlefield. Darn you! I grew in rage. But apparently it doesn't have anything good. Let's try another great ball. And if you blow this one away too, I'll blow you away. Good. You knew your place. I think after the second extra sensory it realized, oh, I can't really kill this one. Oh, and five bloody others for you. Let's see if we can sneak up on this Snorlax. Oh, Jesus. It's level 45. Caught while sleeping at that. Go, Barry! Get that bear. Adorable. Do you not want it, Barry? It knows. Maybe. No, that was it on Barry. Barry. My opening was small, and now it's angry. Uh -huh, it's a normal time. And it's level 40. I guess I'll try and beat you up. I should have waited for the surprise. I'm dumb. But 
I know. Or a sphere. Hit it where it hurts. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dear God. You're gonna die, Robin. I do have a feeling of that. I should have seen that coming. Go, Rhyhorn. I'm sure you'll survive. Rock smash it. Smash it good. Oh, dear. At least his defensive stats went lower. You are a monster, Snorlax. All right. Monferno, I want you to thunder punch it, and I want you to make it hurt a lot. Paralyze it. Yes! But you're still gonna die, because it's a monster. Alright. Use a snarl. Probably you should have used a normal snarl. I don't care if not everybody's gonna get experience for this. It's our chance and our only chance. Go great ball. Ha, huh, that worked. Wow, that worked. <laughs> and my Morgan can evolve. Let's revive everyone. Enjoy, let's watch Morgan evolve. Love this evolution screen. And got an idea for a new move. All right, with that, with that, let us bring everyone up to snuff. If everyone was just annihilated. <laughs> but we got the giant. Diddly D. Enough to count for something. I might be able to make it. Maybe. Yes. The game may want me to do it a certain way. I'm here for the spirit. Yeah, come on. Perfectly on point. Check and see. What does the Pokedex want me to kill you with? With dark type moves. Alright. Extra sensory can't work on my beloved me. Kill it. Snarl. Ah, you live. Finally, a move that could actually do something. Shadow. Wait, I needed to use to kill you. Dark type, oh well. My beard! My beard! Ah, uh, we need to get further away. Or else the bloody Luxio will get involved, and we don't want that. Wanna run at me? I know. I'll throw mud at your face. You big disgrace. Oh, then it ran away. Coward! Let's see. What 
Pokemon are up here during the day. The daylight hours of twilight. I don't see many. Pony, kick this tree. Ah! I'll want you for the project. Quick attack it. Hmm. And normal quick attack again. Ah, this might be perfect. Let's throw a great ball. Become added to the deck. Yeah, I was going to say, if you broke out when the Snorlax didn't. Woot woot. Something's angry at me. Ah, it's just another Shinx evolution. Or is it? Oh, it is! Ah, oh, you're so determined to fight. What do we need to do for you? Ground type moves. Ah, but you're already completed, so I don't really care. What about you? You're not completed. Defeat you of ground type moves. Now that would be nice. <laughs> nope. Wrong one. But I don't think they'll both want to fight for this, so. Ah, it works out in the end. Oh, Jesus. I don't do it to. Ah. Try and knock this one out as fast as possible. The other one's stupid. How dare you live! Agile style. Destroy him. Raise the Pokedex there. I love the rain effect. Now this one's just in the way. Annihilate him. Love the rain effect. They're subtle, but there, and I love them. Good job, my boy. Oh, crap, he's angry. Let me heal up my boy, and then I'll come smack you about. All right. Beat him up. We need weak style. That's kind of what agile style is. It's faster, but weaker. Bulldoze. Oh, that one. Huzzah. Over the horizon, there's a bunch of... Oh! What do I need to do for you? Defeat it with bug type? Defeat it with bug type? I don't even have a bug type move. Does... Do, do any of my Pokemon know bug type moves? I don't think so! Who bloody wants bug type moves? Nobody likes bug type moves. Even bugs have mostly just been using Venoshock! I forget. I think it is it strong or weak against dark type? My brain's a mush. Hmm. 
Well, you're part psychic, so maybe you'll be able to annihilate him. Oh, you're only level 17. Come on. Destroy him. You coward! Is he fucking me some mime? Ah, and a mime junior. How oh, far along are you? You're already completed. Now the goddamn mime, on the other hand. You don't know where I am. It is cool to see them. The shield, though. Oh no, it walks like a man. Fear. Gripping my veins. Weakling! There we go, another Pokemon to add to the batter. And defeated without being... I keep forgetting that, no, the shadow of the tree of pom-poms. Oh. It's the thing I need for one of my quests, my requests. What do we need for you, caught without being spotted? Well, we're going to definitely catch you, regardless. Uh, go get it, darling. Catch! Don V! What type are you? Uh, we probably don't even know. Water ground! Well, that's a bastard. Water ground. Have to sit you I. Now remember, we want this one alive. Use Aura Sphere. Mike is awesome. Agile style. Air slash. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely looked ancient. What do you think, you great? Have a curve out great ball. You feed them, and then you hit them in the back, and they're still like, no, I don't like it. But you're still mine. What? What? What little blinker blockers? What? Okay, I got the wrong one. That's a shallow. That's the one I'm after. Uh huh. Cough out being spotted. Seen it use water pulse. It did on me. And, uh,. And then give water. Oh, give, give it food. I was wondering why a water pulse came out of nowhere and annihilated me. So this tiny little bastard. Here. And here again, uh, capture of out being seen. Try again. We haven't seen anything. There we go. That's exactly what we like. That's enough of that. Hello, Abra. You're gonna run away, you coward. Let's see. Oh, yes, that satchel we were gonna look for. Oh, I forgot there's a giant. <laughs> I forgot that there's a giant. Fuck off, Alakazam in here. Do 
do for you again? It's already there, and I don't really care. Oh! I found a satchel. And nobody cares to find mine. Because I don't pay for the odd line. Hello. Well, this is not going to go my way at all. One by one, they're gonna come for you. Huh. Okay. Hit this one. Psycho cut. Whittle their numbers down. I still find it immensely funny that I can use moves that are super effective against me. I wonder why. You're the most pressing man. Air slash. God damn you. Never mind, we're killing you. Never mind, we're trying to destroy him. He raises deeper, but he can't be that good. Bike in the like. Bike? Bike in the like. Or a spear. Get rid of him. Ah, shit. Alright. One more. Destroy it. Close call. And of course, another field of monsters come to eat me. I was just done with that. I just want a series of bloody... Alakazam's level is probably level 50 and I should probably leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Well, I'm here. What typing are you now, my boy? Grass and fighting. That uh, makes sense now why the Diddly D was the Psycho Cut was super effective against me. And what Pokemon are about here? Hmm. I need to be able to get there eventually. And I guess with that, with that, it's... Ah, uh, but I'm not being targeted by a wild Pokemon. I'm being targeted by an animal. Shiny, 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 bastard. Shiny, shiny, shiny. 
shiny. shiny. Yeah, shiny! Yay! I was wondering what that noise was. It was like ding ding. What ding ding? I looked. <gasps> shiny. Well, glad I stick around here. Let's fast travel there. Head to the cave. Use my lovely rye horn to bust on through. Bust a move. I really need to... Uh, one of these days I'm going to have to go super unknown hunting. Right on. Gather those for me, won't you? I think he only grabbed one. What a dick. Yep, there's that bastard. I was about to get excited because my brain went, Oh yeah, there's, a sh there's an unknown at the dam! And then I was like, oh yeah, but I already got that. That's how I know about it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, why are there talky talks? Because I was running up on them. And he didn't like that. There's iron. Mine. Yes, yes, giant bib rebel. Yes, yes, giant bib rebel. Nobody cares your old news. You're like everybody's first alpha. I still can't get over the fact that some people actually kills kill the first alpha they come across. Now, if I run across an alpha bunnery... Ah, things get... <gasps> Wait, there's a... Oh, but it's entirely possible that it's uh, in a non-unique and actually a random. But at the same time, that usually happens when there... An alpha usually spawns if there's an alpha... Like, if that... If they... Brain recontextualization. If a Pokemon spawns normally in an area, there is a chance that an alpha version of that Pokemon might spawn. So, considering that the Lopunny spawned in an area where there were no other Lopunnies, that seems to imply... Hmm. I guess I need to either fly or get a climbing Pokemon, because an unknown is in the Grand Tree. Alright. Plan number one. We're going to go to the cave to do the thing. Alpha Bun Bun. Some bloody field is forming. Bug is powerful to oh. No matter what, dark pulse. We have to go to the distortion field. Great ball. I'll make as many great bolts as I can, and then we're heading to the the bloody distortion field. Thank you, Combe. All right, all right, all right. Uh, distortion field, distortion field is at the place we just were at. Damn, it's gonna take a long time to get there. All right. But First, let's heal up. <laughs> Actually. Okay, first things first is we need to head to the camp, put away everything that we don't immediately bloody need. What even is this? Uh, it's loved by certain Pokemon. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, 
Put away as much as bloody possible. And a ghost. We have head to the base, make frickin' run to the distortion field. If only I had a swimming Pokemon, but I do not. First and foremost, back to camp. Oh, get over the lip. Get much to do. I hate this. I hate that some of them are like, no. I've scaled better mountains than this. Why? field as fast as freaking possible. And put away as much of everything as physically possible that isn't immediately needed. Because we're going to get a whole bunch of items and hopefully a decent amount of Pokemon as well. We'll use the grit dust. Put away the experience cubes for now. Put away the berries. Even put away you. All right. Craft. Don't want to make it super duper. We want a bunch of them. Bunch, bunch, bunch of them. All right. And increase your special attack. All right. No over jumping any of that, so we need to make immediate beeline for the bridge. There was a wisp, but that doesn't matter right now because we have a distortion field to get to. That takes biggest priority. Rare items, rare Pokemon, all awesome. Also incredibly dangerous because they usually spawn in huge packs. Ah, oh, you already respawned too. Here distortion field, here distortion field. I already see it over the horizon. For me nice and hard. And luckily, it seems to be away from... Oh, please don't tell me that's where the Alakazam is. You don't want to fight anyone. God damn it, it's where the Alakazam is! Literal worst nightmare. Alright. Now we just need to wait for things to start spawning. Then we can start collecting items. And maybe even sniping a Pokemon or two. And try to stay out of the way of the frickin' Alakazam. Although I think... It disappears. All naturally spawning Pokemon disappear once the distortion field actually starts taking over. Yes, come on, activate. Hopefully it doesn't go, okay, five billion 
Alpha Alakazams. Oh, and hey, at least there's one Alakazam I can get if I can't evolve my Kadabra without trading. Although it'd be weird. Who knows? Maybe they redid it. Maybe they haven't. We're still waiting. Lightning around the trees. I kind of like that effect. It's probably... Honestly, it might very well be a graphical glitch to a degree, but it is a good graphical glitch. It adds to the distortionness of this world. Activate any time now. I mainly don't want to get hit because I'll need as much health as possible in here. I'm going to have to start bringing in charms that make it so I take less damage. Because those would be handy. Yeah, it's taking a bit for the distortion field to properly align. Maybe I didn't have to worry about getting here so quickly. Activate all bloody ready. I don't want to risk getting that because then the diddly d will get very angry. The Alakazam. many aggressive Pokemon in here. It's not even the ones I'm looking for. Just waiting for the distortion to activate. I wonder if it's because there's an alpha here. It all, I don't know. Activate distortion, man. Activate distortion. I'm here for the rare items and Pokemon. I thought the music was winding down to activation. Would've been nice. Activate already! Been here for five billion years as Elixio are very interested in my giblets. Come on. What's the activation? I mean, by the point that distortion fields are introduced, you already have weird deer. I don't know why it's taking so long, because if I can get here from basically across the map, this should be a piece of cake game. Is that thunder of activation? It sounds like it. Yes! Protector. That's not what I want. And I don't really care about them too much to catch them, but at the same time... Crap, crap. Maybe. What level are you? Level 43. No thanks. Level 35, I think I might like you. Oh, and a Sneasel! Oh, damn it. We're probably gonna get annihilated. Destroy the Steelix. I honestly don't care. I want that Sneasel. God fucking damn it. 
You're a failure. You know that, Monferno? You're a failure. Alright, next up, Marion. Alright. Annihilate this Onyx. That's first and foremost on the deal. Water Pulse, hopefully one time we can catch you. Luckily the Sneasel's been very nice. While this man is not. Alright. I think I'll go ahead and use a Super Potion on you. Oh, we have finally attacked. Well, first of first off. Gonna try and catch that Steelix. Get it out of the game. Oh, now I can just imagine. God damn you. Finally, get in the ball, Steelix. Because you're a steel type, so uh, false swipe won't work well against you. Yay! Stop the Steelix. Please don't kill my. Yeah, bye bye, Marion. Oh, you avoided. Yay. Alright, items. Another super heal for Marion. And then Marion can fight. Sneasel and add Sneasel to my party. Sneasel's becoming permanent. Alright. Don't want to kill it. Quick attack. Ah, oh, goddammit. That's super me. Fine then, I guess I'll go send out Robin. It's ice type, so it will hurt a bit, but we need that false swipe. False swipe activated! God damn it. Leaf Blade, please don't kill it. I want it. Wild Sneasel, why? Real question is, who do we want to send out? But honestly, everyone is uh, susceptible. I guess I can swift it a bit. I can get swifty. But I want this Sneasel. This is the game of avoidance. You swift on it. See how much damage it does, and if it does decent, we can just go ahead and uh, try and capture. Alright, another swift. So hopefully we'll linger it down a bit. Good. Now go, great ball, so I can add Sneasel to my team. Even if it is a tiny sneezing. Woot woot! Alright. And before anything goes ever, heal up everyone. Because we're probably gonna run into more shenanigans that we're gonna wanna fight. We're gonna have to heal up Monferno. The failure. Trusted you to do decent damage against that Steelix. How do you not even hit a Steelix? It's a giant pile of metal! First 
serangs. Don't. Nope. That's a bit too much for me. So glad that you just teleport on. Okay, we cut off an introduction. Let's try and catch this Sneasel. Normal quick attack. Beat it down. Agile quick attack. Beat it down. Add more to my team. Great ball for your great pleasure. Oh, an Eevee. And a bunch of monsters I don't uh, that scare me. This is uh, the real reason it's difficult, is because it's uh, always a triple battle with the occasional single. Nope. Another Sneasel. Let's see. Uh, Sneasel. That number defeated. Give food. There are four different forms? looking for items right now since I got my two Sneasels. And I can only assume there's like certain regional variants. Oh, Leafeon! Fight! We'll annihilate the Haunter. Catch the Leafeon. And try to catch the Eevee. Maybe this will kill, maybe not, I don't know. Woo woo! You're gonna use an attack um the dark type. Oh good. Use swift on Leafeon. But it failed. Agile swift, so that we can keep on advantage. Baby doll eyes. Defensive stats lowered. Normal swift on Leafeon. Try and capture it. Great ball at Leafeon. And this means that we can then get like Glacian, Espeon, and uh, then the elemental stones, and we'll have all the Eevees. Evolution. Normal switch. Try an agile switch because the crit will kill, I think. I feel. Like a great ball will catch this Eevee. How dare you! Alright, let's do another swim and see if we can follow up with a ball.
Ah, that also. <laughs> Thank you for the baby doll eyes attacks. Those actually were helping me. Get in the ball. Hunters and an onyx. No, thank you. And remember to stay hydrated while you're in a temporal state of fear. Because you never know what's going to be out there. Ghosts. Giant rocks. Weasels. And perfect timing, because I was going to heal anyway. Look for more items. Another Sneasel. Well, I don't really need more Sneasels. I want to get the variants that might pop up later. More Stardust to sell. Yeesh. That flash between worlds when the camera exited the bubble. I actually kind of hurt my eyes. Ponder her serang. Unawares. Schneezel. What do the shards do? They have to be somewhat important. If they're spawning here and have no, like, sellability. Maybe the shards are... Ah, oh, I did it again. I got too close to the exit. It could be that the shards might be pieces of the... Ah, it's over. But there is an angry Luke's here. But we already know where to find one of those. But I did it. I survived another dimensional rift. Eo Venta. And now we're gonna come back down here so we can actually do what I was coming to do. Alright. Just need to go down to the cave and use my Rhyhorn. To bust on through. To bust a move. To murder. See, Rhyhorn? My Umbreon can bring me two items that are right next to each other that I can't use, especially when they're the same bloody time. Let's see, what do we need from you? Defeat with flying type moves. And, uh, just see it attack. And number caught, I guess. Kill you. It knows its place in the world. This is probably another. Hey, feed it, Pokemon. Let's see. Caught without being spotted, giving it food. Come on. It's a food. It's food. Do you like food? Or do you not like that kind of food? Oh, there we go. Now you're mine! Woof woof. Many Pokedex upgrades are coming. 
I need to come here more often just for the Machops, though. Tons of iron, too. Now, the real question is, will you actually be able to break this down, my dude? Booyah. New area attained. What the fuck? What are you? Well, there's a Growlithe. Okay. Hey, more buzels. Wait. Oh, dear God. Well, at least we're on this side now. We finally unlocked this area. What? Oh, you were trying to ro roll rock me. I don't really care about Graveler, though. <gasps> shiny. Hey, there's a shiny out here somewhere. Was it you? Shiny, I heard the jingle. All right, that's creepy. I heard the jingle, though. I need to get out of here. More than likely, the shiny is the Pokemon in the water, and I can't get it. I don't have. A sh I don't. I'm not able to go into the water. That pulse making me miss out on potential shiny. Try to think because some shinies are quite hard to distinguish the rest. What are you? Can I see? Magikarp. I'm gonna fucking kill you. And I'll try and catch the Magikarp, I guess. Now it's probably gone because of you. Bloody, bloody. Dead the dog. <laughs> Just go away. Magikarp. Seen it, you splash a hundred times. They know it. Come to me, darling. Darn it. Too far away. Hey, at least I got a magic carp and I can level that up into a Gyarados if I want. Well, let's head on over. Further. Because I don't care about that Graveler. Now, the real question is how the fuck do I get on top of the bloody thing? Huh. Ah, Worn Ridge. We're over here now. So many angry Geodudes, I hate them. Huh? Yeah, 
and stand left. Lots of Pokemon up here. Nice to know this place exists. <laughs> and to think it was just uh, from a whim of me seeing a little rock and thinking, no, nah, surely I should be able to get past this. And I threw my Rhyhorn, or was it Rhydon? Rhyhorn, Rhydon. Well, they're both on Rye. Another giant Stantler. They're everywhere. Oh, wait. I've already been up here, so I could have gone over there on my own. Huh. Interesting. Interesting to know how this world interconnects. So this is where the Stantler is. I've gotten up here before. I just never went that way to search. These will work someday. Or ah, now wants to fight. I forget. Time for you. Normal type. Go, Rhyhorn. Even though you're, like, super low level and you're probably going to die. Oh, it's going to... Who knows it's going to kill you? Well, that's very mean, Mr. Stantler Giant. I shall send out Robin to deal with you. Or a spirit's face. That almost killed... Go, oh, great ball. I gave you two foods. You turn your nose up at me. I am a genius. At least it gave up nicely. And nice to know that this place connects to the cavern area. So, that's just nice to know. That we can go across the worn bridge to the other area. Well, let's go and get that satchel as well. Satchel as well, -shul. I really love the way the area inter interconnects, really. I could have come over here five billion years ago. Hello, dust ox. I forget you're just naturally that big. Uh, defeated with psychic type moves. Alright. Sure thing. My wife is stronger than your wife, I think you can be able to kill it. Beat them all up. We have to make progress on our report, Morgan. Now I'm imagining a guard of war in the place of the main character of, uh, what was it? I forget what it was called, actually. Bug type, so we'd want you, but this guy's probably gonna be a hefty level boy. This is probably what killed the guy that we're looking for the satchel of. Ah, decent enough. Level 45, it would annihilate you. 
Heracross. Bug fighting. All right. We need to wait for it to turn its back. And then we'll catch it unawares. Actually, while we're waiting, might as well top off with some berries. It's like you knew. Sword stance. We're gonna have to look at that. What? Are, how much increase are we talking about? Wild might. Stats are boosted. Alright. Yeah, you're basically gonna die. Just do as much damage as you can, boy. And that's a hefty amount of damage, boy. Holy crap, you survived, but it's gonna hit you again. Alright, bug fighting. I'll send out, uh. I don't know. Maybe you can buy us time. Or it's going to die. Listen, you're gonna die if you don't get in the ball, so please get in the ball. I didn't mean to burn you, but hey, Monferno is a vindictive little bastard. You've killed yourself! You're gonna die to that burn. What? Where'd the burn go? Yeah, it basically chose death. Ah, damn it. You know, did kind of a too good of a job there, Monferno, but granted that the Heracross did not want to cooperate. Hey, there should be an unknown, maybe. But once again, we can't exactly make it across to actually see it, because this is pretty deep water and we can't. <laughs> we don't have a fish yet. I'd rather die than team up with the likes of you. That's what it did. Basically, yeah. Uh, But at least we know it exists here, and since it's a, there's no other Heracross around, it is a unique spawn for it, and therefore will ever, ever, never be here. A bunch of comb bees. One of these days, uh, Alpha Vespa Queen's probably gonna show up. Or maybe it's just further downwind. And we need to go back for the... Diddly D, diddly D. The diddliest of these. It's on this side. Uh, go on this way. Oh, there's the satchel. And that is. Pretty much all of this place explored except for this. But I guess before we leave this area, and in fact probably end the stream, because I've just got caught up doing all this. Jesus Christ, I love this game. And at the very least this will open up so... I can play the game a bit on my own time in both this place and the second area. And then uh, I'm going to come over here and see if I can get that alpha lock on it. And then we'll turn everything in. Hey, wood. And fine, since the game is like, lost and found! Hey, Maven, I found you lost and found. Idiot. Which 
giant loft bunny. Unless it was... Yep, there's the giant loft bunny. Dang it, it's now foggy. That's well, first things first. Let's try and be diplomatic about it. Get in the bag. Oh, that actually worked. Lol. Ooh, and Monferno can evolve. Exciting day today. Evolve, Monferno! Show us what you can really do. And with that done, the Alpha Lopony locked away. And there's another one for me, but we have already spent enough time. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm giving up on that. But oh well. I've got 25 Pokemon and I'm ready to go home. Quite a few of them were Alphas. One was a Shiny. I even got a Magikarp and that's the most important thing. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Yes. Yes, money. Money, yes. Oh, seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look, then. Finished off quite a few Pokemon. Woot woot. This is probably also going to level me up. So we even end on a level up. Lol. Return to the village so I can level up and make even more money. Ooh, this will be extra fun, in a way, in that... <laughs> If I ever run across a diddly do in my own time, a time distortion rift, I have a chance to have a moment that would have been best on stream, but it could only happen here. Hey, what's the Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? What name? Is it because I caught a, 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 a Magikarp? It's Magikarp. Magikarp? Why is it called Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? It's pretty cool. It's cool? Why is it cool? Which part is it? It can turn into Gyarados. Tell me more, please! You're gonna go learn about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me when you're all done? <laughs> Page Pokey Do Kiki? Right now I have to learn all about Magikarp. I've damned myself to learning about Magikarp. <laughs> the child demands it. And I'm gonna have to see what the Mega... Well, it's not really Mega. Mega... <laughs> the Ultra Mega La Pony is capable of. Hey, Silene. I leveled up again, because I'm God. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Star level six. With this, you have officially attained the rank of sixth star. You can see use Ultra Balls, and level 80 will obey. What the hell is the extra stars going to do once level 100 obey me? Now I can create Ultra Balls. Apricorn. Wow. That's actually pretty decent. And I can make Max Potions too! With very rare, rarer materials. Oh no. And... Back alley, Mr. Mime. It seems there's a Mr. Mime in Jubilee, but its eerie movements are making Andra, one of the villagers, a touch nervous. Speak to the poor chap and lend him your aid. Uh, first, I'm gonna go take a look at my Mega Lopony. See what moves it knows. And we'll see if we have enough spirits for the next upgrade, or not upgrade, but reward from the probably dead spirit child. It's. Is that gonna become the daycare? That would be interesting. Thanks again, you've collected 16. That leaves 91 wisps to find. If you find four more, huh? I don't have enough for a reward. And the child is T-posing. They're definitely dead. Yes, I would like to take a look at my Mega Lopony, which is level 40. <laughs> Marion became... All right, let's see. I want to see what moves it has. All right. 
Hello. Megalopony, what moves do you know? Charge beam, close combat, play play, play rough. So honestly, not that many super unique moves, but hi. I still don't know what these shards do. I'm sure it'll be revealed in time. Oh yeah. Uh, is there anything, anything, anything else? I guess I'll quickly put everything away. Protector! It's loved by certain Pokemon. Let's see. Incompatible. And some experience doohickeys. Grit. I guess we'll give some to my super Lopunny. And to Morgan. You need more special defense, my lady. I'll save these for now. I'll put them away. Move on, move on, move on, move on. Now that I've learned that, utter magicness. But I cannot wait to learn what some of these things are meant to do. Let's go see if there's any worth selling to the dude. And uh, since I have a lot of money, I guess I'll get another upgrade from the man. one that I got a lot of stardust. Here, stardust, come to my eyeballs. It's bags of sparkly sand. How can I miss them? They're down here. Woot woot. Alright, now I need to grind up Magikarp so I can have a Gyarados. Alright. 12,000. So much. When are you going to run out of ways to tell me how to pack my bag, my dude? You know what? Screw it. More. When will you run out, my dude? You're the real money sink in this game. Jesus Christ, it never ends with you. But da, 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 da. I do believe that that will be that for now. I, this game is quite lovely. Look at the merry band of misfits I've accumulated today. So many levels and evolutions and progresses. But, uh, what have we done today? We saved uh, Lilligant from a frenzy and just did a whole bunch of stuff in the Mireland. Went on an absolute spree with the uh, distortion worlds, gathering up those shards that I have no idea what they do. And next time, we're going to head to the Cobalt Coast, where ghosts are forming and a Pokemon died and has obviously become a ghost. And things are going to get interesting. I can't wait till I get my... Oh! Maybe the... Maybe I'll get my Ridey Fish Pokemon next because one of the Pokemon that uh, was new and highlighted in one of the directs was a School of Fish that died and came back as one Pokemon, so maybe that's the Lord. Who knows? But yes, I love this game. I love the music. I love everything. Literally, the only thing that I want fixed is the spawning. What happens when you respawn from falling in a river. And uh, maybe the anti-aliasing. But otherwise, love this game. This game is nearly perfect to, to my eyes. There are probably uh, gripes and hibbity-jibbles that other people don't like, and that's fair. 
but I love this game. This game is amazing. I love the music. I love the look of it. I love the way it flows. I love the way that things slowly expand. Like, this is one of the best ways to do an open world game where you kind of go out and you kind of explore and then you come back to a central area and that central area expands the more you explore, the more you do, the more that you're capable of and it's just wonderful. I'm pr I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm halfway through the game yet. Maybe after I uh, beat up the next Lord Noble. As you can see down there, there are five badges for frenzied Pokemon. So I guess I'm kind of halfway there. Kind of, sort of, when it comes to the main story. And I don't know how much of a post-game story there is, and I can't wait, or how much post-game content there is, and I can't wait to experience it. There it is. I love this game. Love this game. Absolutely, positively fantastic. I haven't drawn anything new. It's the same thing. Mainly because life is bearing down on me. I, I still like this picture. But, yes. I think that will be it. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Ice Wings, and this has been more Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you want more from me, you can hit up my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I post to once in a billion years. And if you want to catch previous streams, you can go to the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games for archived streams, such as my Pokemon Yellow, my Age of Calamity main game playthrough, Undertale, so many things I'm trying to do. If you're one of those people that are watching one of these archived streams, you can hit up me playing these games live on Twitch.tv, Neon Icy Wings. And if you want to see more art from me, because I'm trying to do more art, trying to refine a simplistic anatomy art style so that I can draw quicker and have more wonderful fun and just meh, then you can hit me up on uh, uh, Twitter, Newgrounds and DeviantArt at ne oh, and Buzzly Art. Buzz Buzzly Dart Art. I forget the, the, the URL, but yeah. All of those sites at Neon Icy Wings, and then Tumblr at Icy Wings Art Corner. And yes, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and I will hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.